Yo, chill town. Right from the top, what does the NBA need to do with Draymond? Do the, is, is it time for them to, to to rule with the iron fist? Does he need I mean, a severe punishment I'm, for his I'm, antics and actions? I mean, as much as we like to give, as much as I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, at some point, you have to accept people for who they are. Draymond is a hothead, and Draymond has been dealt with like a spoiled child. And because he's been dealt with like a spoiled child, he keeps doing the same things. This is the second time this week he's been thrown out of a game, by the way, just so you guys know. This is the second time in a week he's been thrown out of a game. Not only that, he leads the league in ejections, 17 ejections that he's had. So with that being said, his antics cost these guys not only games, they've cost them championships. The way Steph Curry plays, even though Steph Curry is awesome, but the way Steph Curry plays – a lot of that is predicated on how good Draymond is with the basketball. So they kind of look past a lot of the nonsense with Draymond. But this kind of stuff right here is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And I am I I have I have just about had it with, with, with Draymond's antics. I have. And something needs to happen today. And when I mean when I say something needs to happen today, this is something that's just reoccurring and they're not dealing with it, which is why he keeps doing it. Because he keeps doing it, we're going to come back in here and we're going to keep talking about this like this. That was unacceptable what happened last night. Unacceptable. To put to put Rudy Gobert in the chokehold. To put Rudy Gobert in the chokehold like he was at the park. And for people, commentators, to look at it like it was passion. That was just Draymond being Draymond. The reason why this stuff happens the way it does is because we keep looking past it. And he keeps getting dealt with with kid gloves. So... This, this right here is now going to turn into a, what, a two-game suspension? He gets in a fight in practice. Now that guy is off the team. He's not on the team anymore. So these things with Draymond are reoccurring things, and it seems like we keep coming back to the same thing. Same logic with James Harden. Every time we look at, every time we look at James Harden's situation, it's always somebody else, when in reality, the problem is one common denominator, Draymond. Draymond is the common denominator here. He hasn't been dealt with. And because he hasn't been dealt with, this thing is going to keep going on until he's actually being dealt with. I am summoning the spirit of David Stern. That's who I'm summoning. Mm. I'm summoning the spirit of David Stern. <laughs> David Stern, would you please deal with Draymond Green? Because this is not good for the game. This is not good for the league. I am a, I am an advocate of, of, of dirty work guys. And you guys know me. You know I love the Udonis Haslam's, the AC Greens of the world, the Horace Grants. You guys know I love those guys. And I love, I love goons too. What I mean when I say goons is these are the guys who regulate games. These these are the guys who keep the bullies in place. These are the guys who keep the bullies in check. Draymond is not that. Draymond is he's a tough guy, but he's a tough guy in a sense where he knows who to mess with and who not to mess with. And because he knows who to mess with and who not to mess with, it looks bad. It's not genuine with him. And I think it's time that he gets dealt with. Mars Damo, do you guys agree that Draymond needs to be dealt with? Damo, it looks like you're completely on the other. I'm end. so sick of everybody right now, man. Like, I, no, he, he his teammate was getting approached by the biggest guy on the court. Listen, listen, listen hear me out. I'm his teammates get his teammates getting approached by the biggest guy on the court, and he reacted like a hothead. Was it wrong? Yes. Do I care? No, it was hilarious. He put Rudy in a rear naked choke. <laughs> he jumped in the air and put him in a rear naked chokehold like a like a, a superhero. It was hilarious, bro. It's Draymond Green. I, one chill. I'm so appalled because I would expect this kind of stuff and nonsense from people like Henry and people Mars age that hasn't been watching basketball but since 2015. So they have nothing but to be soft about it. But to think that something needs to be done about Draymond for being for what defending his teammate the way he seen fit that's how that's how guys handle it back in the day that's how things would happen if you have a high head and he thinks somebody's doing something with his teammate he handles them. Rudy Gobert isn't hurt. Rudy Gobert didn't get stomped in the nuts. Rudy Gobert ain't missed the tooth. Rudy Gobert neck ain't broke. He got choked. He was looking for God and I, let him go. Could have been broke. Go. Okay, no, it couldn't have. Because I don't know if you, Jesus, it's not that deep. He ain't going around slapping, knocking people, breaking faces like Kareem Abdul Jabbar. He didn't do none of that. He put a guy in a chokehold and let him go. Wallahi, oh my God, throw him in jail. The reaction you're getting that people are giving from him getting 
putting somebody in a chokehold and getting tossed off the court is insane. You would have thought that this league didn't have the malice in the palace. You would have thought this league didn't have guys like Kobe getting three pieces in a biscuit. You would have thought this league didn't have Shaq throwing hooks at Charles Barkley. And now they're sitting around kumbaya all over TNT now. Like, what are we doing? It's not that deep. Into incident, he got ejected. The league is gonna find him. The league's probably gonna spin him a game or two, and then we move on. It's early in the season. He didn't. He didn't commit a crime. Like Lord have mercy. I could have. Man, I, I just didn't know the world was so sensitive about about grown men being grown men. Yes, Draymond Green reacted the wrong way. We all can agree there. Leave it at that. What are we talking so that, so, about? So, so, we, 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 so we got to do who punched the dude in the face in practice, right? We got to do who punched and the dude he, in the face in practice. And they handled it internally. Gotta, we, okay, which, 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 which they were supposed to, which it, that we wasn't even supposed to see that, right? We wasn't even supposed to see that. That that was supposed to get handled the way it got handled. He's gotten thrown out twice this week. So this is the this this kind of logic right here. It's called you, this is called this you is believe called, he should have been thrown out for the first incident. The thing with. Donovan Mitchell, he should have been thrown Mitchell. out Yes, absolutely, he should have been thrown out of that. You know why? Because I can't stand Draymond. And the reason why I can't stand... I, 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 there we go. W-Bias, W-Bias, W-Bias. I, I, I can't stand Draymond. Just, like just like I couldn't stand Bill Lambert. Just like I couldn't stand uh, Charles Oakley. I, 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 just like I couldn't stand these dudes, right? I have a problem with guys who dirty up the game. Draymond is a dirty player. Who dirties up the game? There's a difference. There's a difference, Damo, between handling things like a grown man and being dirty. And Draymond is a dirty guy, and he's selective with it. I'm what? I'm, answer this question for me, Draymond. I'm, I'm answer this question for me, Damo. How come when mm -hmm. How come when Tristan Thompson put the ball in his face, he didn't jump on Tristan Thompson? Explain that one. Yeah, in the NBA Finals. What? Why didn't he do that? So he was supposed. Well, so he should have. He should have put Tristan in the headlock too. Then, right? Like everybody so put when, 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 when Tristan Thompson was in his face, he didn't want nothing to do with him. But he Rudy literally smacked the ball out of his face, and he was about to bark at him. But there's teammates dead he wasn't in the about middle to do of him. anything. He wasn't. He about literally. To do anything. He literally pushed the ball out of his face, and he had teammates on him at the moment. He it's couldn't called, do anything. It's so called, he called, it. With, with, with Draymond Green, this is the game twelve of the regular season. That's that's also true. That's also true. Is cooking, okay. chill town. Normally, the Rock would agree with you, man. Normally, but in this case, sir, I gotta be honest with you, chill. Put chill on the screen beside me, Ron. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, chill, man. Chill. Draymond Green deserved to choke that boy out. And I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you and I, I, you know, I don't like Draymond. I'm gonna tell you, and only this one case, chill. And I'm not trying to go against you, dog. But the only reason why is because of this, bro. And you know this, and I know this. When we playing on the team, chill, and then two guys get into a fight, don't grab my guy. Grab your guy. Don't mm -hmm. grab my guy. Grab your guy. He ran, instead of him grabbing McDaniels, which is his guy, he ran and grabbed the other team's guy. Now, when you do that, now I'm going to grab you. Because I would hate when another team grabbed my guy, because then what happens, chill, your guy can get licks off. Because why am I going to hold my own guy back when you can come over and just round off on him? Why, he, he, For example, Rudy runs up and grabs Clay. He don't run up and grab McDaniels. So when he grabs Clay, McDaniels can come in with a two-piece special if he wanted to because Rudy got him grabbed up. So when Draymond comes with the chokehold, with the guillotine chokehold, I don't have no problem with that in that situation. All the other stuff I'm with you on with Draymond, he's a punk. We know this. But in that situation, he was right. And I'm going to tell, tell you another reason why he was right, right? Tell you another reason why, bro. Another reason why he was right is because of this. Bro, them dudes on the T Wilson punks, bro. Because Chill Town, you know, and I know. Once Draymond went up and put dude in the guillotine hole, that's a, that's all right to go 50 round drum on that fool. Oh, oh, hey, Chill Town. Chill Town. Chill Town. Draymond so hard in his ribs right there. Cat had to Cat had the green light of the year. Because to crack him. Both his hands. Crack him. Both his hands was around Rudy Gobert's dick. And he crack him. So look, Chill Town, he choking him. So when I had my meeting with the lead and they asked me why I knocked his lights out, why I Jermaine O'Neal his ass, I'm going to say because he got this nigga in the chokehold, damn it, killing the nigga. Well, what you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? That Chill, that's the only reason why I disagree. Chill, you know I wanted to agree with you on this. That's the only reason because I'm with you on all the other stuff you've been antagonizing people. I'm with you. But I ain't with the stuff where Rudy Gobert go and grab the other dude. Grab your teammate, bro. Don't grab the other dude, because when you grab the other dude, it's like I can hold you back. My other dude get licks off on you. 
Because because one nobody really trying to grab McDaniel's except for what the reps or whatever. Which but is fair. Which is fair. Which is fair. I, which I is gotta fair. protect my guy. I gotta protect my guy. Absolutely. Which, which, which is fair. But Draymond, with the history that he got, Draymond, with the history that he got, and the type of dude that he is, he needs to be dealt with. He has to be. That he is the pill. I know that was you, trip too. I know if that was you, you'd have came up with a fifty round drum on him. So I would have hit him hard as hell in his ribs. Hard as hell in his ribs. You would have came right over. See, that's the problem I got with the T-Wolves. Ain't nobody run up. That dude been doing all his talking, and he put one of your key players in a choke, oh, in a guillotine choke hold. Man, chill. You already know, and our era dudes is coming out swinging on that. That that's that ain't even no question. That, that's I just don't like the, what, I, what I don't like is, I, and, and, and Damo, you made a fair point about it being a man's game. And it is. 100%. It's a man's game. That's why we had Xavier McDaniel and, 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 and Michael Cage and Charles Oakley. That's why we had them dudes. To deal with bullies, right? We had Charles Oakley and to deal with bullies. I get that. But they dealt with bullies in a certain way. Draymond ain't like that. That's the difference with Draymond. Draymond is a different type. Draymond is a different type of quote unquote goon. He's selective in his he, he's selective in who he's dealing with. Not only is he selective in who he's dealing with, he's selective on how he deals with people. And it's detrimental to his unit. That's the downside to it. It's not like Draymond is just, it's not like Draymond is out here just doing things. And it's helping his unit. It's not. He's getting thrown out of playoff games. Go ahead. What was another instance of him just not giving the same energy to somebody? Other than interesting thing, which was a fair point, was in the finals. And this is after he was already kicked out of a final. Because you said that, oh, he's already cost his team's championships. Okay, the one he got tossed out of, LeBron put his nuts on his head. I'm sorry, but as a grown man, I don't respect if you put your nuts on my face. I feel like a reaction is warranted. He's, he's, he's uh, but in, in the finals, he, 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 he dragged his, he he dragged his nutsack he across him. his head unjustly. I'm sorry. He stepped over him 100%. He stepped over him and all Look, over his frontal. There's no way you're telling me, oh, Draymond was supposed to let it go. Like, no, you dragged your nuts on my head. We, no, no, but that, that, that was the other though. But, but in the playoffs, with Tristan, with Tristan. just asked him why he's in the Tristan Thompson in the playoffs. No, that's what I'm saying. So in the finals or playoffs, you can't be do it. Sometimes it's okay not to retaliate because you understand the circumstances of the situation. And he losing did that. The, he didn't retaliate against Tristan. Exactly, which is smart. Exactly, because losing a game or two in the finals or playoffs, a whole different situation than losing game 10 or 9 in the regular season. So what season. other championships was caused you know I mean? by Draymond getting kicked yeah, out or, that, or thrown out? What other situations did he pick and choose when he was a tough guy? He could have. He could. He could have very well cost them in 2016 when he kicked Stephen Adams in the nuts. Yeah. Well, we, what we are saying is this though, Damo. We saying that cost, he, he would, definitely could have cost them that kicking, saying, kicking dudes in the nuts. Damo, what, we saying he wouldn't pull them stunts if there was real G's out there. Like if that shit was Ben Wallace, if that shit was Artest, if that shit was one of them dudes like that, mm -hmm. Xavier McDaniel, if that dude was Oakley, all of the Trey Mark Green ain't pulling them stunts, bro. He pulling them stunts. That's fair. Here. He pulled them that, stunts that's, on dudes that's because he know the league. He know the league is weak, so he pulled them stunts on a guy like Rudy Gobert. He ain't never walking up to no Ben Wallace. He ain't never walking up to no Charles Oakley. He ain't never walking up to Charles Barkley. Putting Rick them niggas in a full guillotine in a full guillotine you... chokehold. Damo, he put the nigga okay, in a full ticket, guillotine ticket, chokehold, my nigga. Ticket, I feel you. I feel you, and I feel like on one hand, it's fair to say he wouldn't, but on the other hand, we drew. We truly don't know, and the only reason I say we truly don't know is because hotheads are hotheads. Me personally. After seeing Isaiah Stewart chase LeBron all around the court and seeing Isaiah Stewart have the incidences, incidences that he's had, I wouldn't expect a rookie like Brandon Miller to buck up at him more than once in the same game. Brandon Miller, Brandon Miller, who I, you don't expect it from him, bucked up the beef stew twice and then banged on him and then posted about it and tagged him at the end of that. I didn't yeah. know Brandon Miller had that in him. So it, just as fair as it is to say, oh, yeah, if real Jesus was out there, if the real dog was out there, he wouldn't say that. It is very fair to also say we don't know because Draymond is no, not all I'm the way there. You. Listen, I'm with you, but he, here's the thing, though. And here's another thing I don't like about Draymond. He always do crash dummy stuff when he when, when Steph ain't there. When, when his daddy go out, he always want to quit, too. And I've been said this for years, and I'm glad that Rudy said that last night. Like, he ain't really want no smoke in that game. If Steph's not playing, Draymond ass, he's going to run and tuck his tail. If Steph's hurt, Draymond going to act like he hurt for the rest of the season. He don't want to play. He, he gonna fold it so he, he was said that before ticket. He said, I don't want to play on a team that sucks. Yeah, he said, Listen, that. he was looking for a reason to get out that game last night, and that was the reason. He already wanted to get his hands on Rudy. Man, he put the nigga in a full guillotine choco. Chill, you know how much I wanted my 
fist was itching to punch this nigga last night when I seen that through the screen, bro. Like, real talk, bro. Like, Ron, real talk, I'm, bro. You put I'm, that nigga I'm, in I'm, the I'm, I'm, I'm watching all I'm, I'm Anthony, now, I'm Anthony Edwards on the side of him. I'm if cracking he's not, If he's not suspended for crack. at least... That, that's at least a 10-game suspension. Because he could have damn near killed the dude. He had the nigga in a full guillotine chokehold, my nigga. And it wasn't going to let go. It was excessive. It was excessive. He wasn't going to let go. He had the nigga in a full chokehold, nigga. Mars, I want to... I want to fi- I want to hear what's your thoughts on this, especially with you being a a former Golden State guy. Draymond is somebody who you're pretty fond of. How do you feel about his antics in culmination of this? Rudy Gobert was cooking. The moment I saw it, I said the exact same thing. Draymond and Clay don't want to play without Steph Curry because there's no reason for Clay Thompson to be holding Jaden McDaniel's jer- jersey all the way down the court. No reason at all. Jaden McDaniel's getting ejected. No reason why he got ejected. He was a victim. Of this. I don't know why he got ejected. If Clay Thompson's not holding his jersey, that doesn't happen. So, um, oh, Clay. Um, Draymond Green definitely should have been ejected. Um, suspended for 15 games. I don't care. Bring him back on Christmas. I don't care. But um, how many games was um, Dr. J suspended for punching Larry Bird? None. How many games was Ralph Sampson suspended for fighting in the NBA Finals? But they didn't have history. He got his. Well, it's also a different era, different. Hold on, no, 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 hold on, Jalen. I'm about to cook him real quick. They didn't have history. This motherfucker got a 10 year history, uh, uh, Mars. So we going off your history. See, it's one thing if Dr. J was running around here socking motherfuckers out, but since he, Dr. J, normally had a reputation as being a good guy, an ambassador to the league, a great guy. Once he got into that one situation, the NBA is going to take into account. His 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 history. They're gonna say, well, he don't have a history of this. So somebody must have really did something wrong. Draymond Green been out here annoying people, kicking dudes in the nuts, pulling dudes' pants down, doing all this dumb shit for years, bro. For years. So he has a history of that. So normally you see the guys when they have a history, and then back then in that era, Mars, when you punch you could punch somebody and get one game suspension. After the malice in the palace, they really changed David Stern really changed the rules. And I'm gonna tell you something. They're lucky David Stern's not alive and running the league right now. Adam Silver has went real soft because if David Stern was running the league, Draymond Green would have you voted. He would have already been banned from the league for about fifty games. And after this this situation, Draymond Green would have probably been banned for half the season for this. I don't know about that. I think Draymond would get three games. Under David Stern. You put a nigga after Draymond's history. Oh, yeah. Under you put Davis a nigga in a full yeah, guillotine yeah. chokehold. That nigga go on half the season, bro. Bro, he checked. Listen, yeah, he yeah. suspended stack for all those games just for going in the crowd and defending his teammate, bro, who was getting brawled on, bro. So so you know he finna take it to these dudes. All them dudes, John Morant, he'd be out of the league right now. He wouldn't even have a career. The second time, you do that to David Stern two times, you get caught pulling, pulling out a blicky, you gone. He, out the league, career over with. You, you, you ain't hearing from you no more. So, yes, Adam Silver has been really soft on these guys and really nice to those guys. But, Damo, Damo, I want to say this, bro. He could have really killed that nigga last night. If nobody went and got him off of him, do you think Draymond would have released that guillotine chokehold, my nigga? I mean, I don't, yeah. Was he really choking him, though? Like, he was holding him? Yeah. Right? yeah. 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 Hold on, time out, time out. Yeah. He was holding him like yeah. that. He, he readjusted and locked his wrist. Yeah. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. He was holding him? No, 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 no. He was holding him? He was full on. He was gritting his teeth. That means he was cinching it in. He had him in the chokehold. I mean, hell wrong with you. Yeah, he had him in the chokehold. I will say, though, I will say, though, in terms of everybody saying, oh, my God, Pat didn't punch him because why would he want to get suspended for the season? Man. Go back and look. Go back and look when Rondo and Chris Paul exchanged blows and, and Brandon Ingram ran Brandon in there with a hurt right of hell. Two games. They, thank you. They were not suspended for half the season. On, they on, they threw all the fists. Rondo on, spit on the dude. And they That's threw fast. fists back and forth. And Brandon Ingram ran from the other side of the court with a fist. And they was you only suspended it. max 10, 15 games. So Cat, I'm not gonna lie. Listen, my trade cat propaganda is through the roof. I'm That's not gonna hold fact. you. And if I'm Rudy Gobert, I'm asking for a trade. Because there's fact, no way bro. the best two players That's on the team. Fact. I just watched the clip. There's no way Anthony Edwards and That's Pat are fact. holding yeah, Draymond while he's fact. choking me and no I one's doing it. Y'all don't respect me. Y'all don't respect me enough. No, I'm, I'm right there with both of y'all. There's no yeah, way hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to play on the team. No, 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 last no, year, no, no, last year was the team versus me. Last year, I had to pull Draymond off. No, 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 Draymond. Last season, last season, last season, when I had my problems, I was ready to smack somebody. Everybody was going to jump on 
me. That's now right. there's there's another enemy. There's an enemy jersey choking me for dead life, uh -huh. and I'm calling for help. And all y'all doing is you is trying to and, and a weak pull too, Damo. No, a weak pull, Damo. A weak pull. A weak pull. And let me tell y'all something. Me. Uh, let Trade me, me something. right I, now. I, I don't want to be here, bro. Listen, we on the same team. I can be out anywhere with Mars. Anything. Somebody trying to run up on Mars, they get laid out. Man, ask no question. Okay, what's the outside? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, that's just how I roll, bro. You getting laid out by me? So if you on my team, no, no, I'm just saying though. I'm just yeah. saying, I'm just being, I'm, I'm being, I'm being honest about the shit though, Mars. Like, if you on my team, like we all on the same team, we fought each other, we on the same team, right? And somebody run up, bro, and do that. If somebody run up and put Mars in a full guillotine chokehold, nigga, it's all, nigga, it's no hoes bar. It's on sight. It's on sight. Listen, listen, listen. So, 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 no, no. So, really, what should have happened is Draymond should have got his head knocked off for all of the stuff he been doing over the court. Didn't they just play him and he was talking shit to Ann Edwards? Yes, two days ago. That was ago. a license mm -hmm. right there to knock his head off. As soon as he put that nigga in a chokehold, he put him in a guillotine chokehold, bro. Bro, you supposed to come over. You supposed to come over swinging. Dudes in you, no you, 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 I want to make sure that we understand. Taylor, I want to make sure you understand that when you do something like that, it's not a basketball game no more. Nope. Now it's a fight. Nope. You understand I, that? We ain't I on the basketball court I, I no get more. it. This is my man, it. and now we're in a fight. This is not just a basketball game anymore. It's the difference between you and me just jawing at each other. When you jump on my man and put him in the chokehold, we ain't playing basketball no more. <laughs> now we in a fight. Look, I, I get you. Like I, I get you. Look, I get where you're coming from. Hundred percent on site. We outside. Someone's coming at you. That's on site. We we gonna scuffle. No, 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 no
That's like like the Smatter yeah, Master. Injury makes it worse. Injury makes the suspension worse. Okay, we know that. No, 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 let's not assume. Let's not assume everybody out here has the power of Ngannou. Let's no take that away. Let's does. assume these are no normal doubt. basketball players. This isn't James Johnson out there. That wasn't Shaq. These are not the big behemoths of the NBA. These aren't the real dogs. That was Ben Wallace. I understand. Let's hope Ben Wallace will kill you. These ain't Ben Wallace out there. We can assume. We can assume these are just been hits. And nothing more than a black right. eye, maybe a, maybe a cut. That's Bro. it. No one's getting a broken orbital. No one's getting broken ribs. We're not talking about that. So the fact that, and again, this is supposed to be a brotherhood. One thing you hear these guys always talk about in the NBA, oh, that's my brother. These are my brothers. These are the guys I go to war with, all that. And if you're supposed to be having a great season, if we're expecting them to be one of the better teams in the West, if we're expecting them to be as good as they're supposed to be, there is no way in the world you allow Draymond to unjustly, Everybody up here knows it was unnecessary. Everybody on that court outside of the Warriors commentators knew it was unnecessary. We all do. There's no reason why Draymond flies up and puts your center in a headlock. He jumped off his feet and is Bro, smiling y'all the nigga And y'all both are standing. One of y'all could have took one for the team. Y'all look at each other and give me the the way to get a the bench. No way. Give me the 10 out of the bench. No, 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 There's no reason why both of them are standing right there and no one's doing anything. That's soft. Now I see why Jimmy Bowen don't want to play there. Jimmy Bowen's right. Them dudes ain't real. I know they got Pat Beverly over there. They're trying to make Cat a dog. And I'm going to keep saying it. Ain't no world where you can make a cat a dog, son. It's not going to happen. He's a cat. That's, That's right. Now, see, this is y'all. Jaylen, I'm ready. Hey, 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 Jaylen, I'm ready for battle. Hey, I'm Jaylen, telling you. I want you to think about one thing. I really agree with Damo on something he said. I'm a thousand percent with Damo on this today. I'm going to tell you why, though, Jalen. Jalen, he's right. Rudy Gobert should want to be traded by now. Because when I go, when you go back and look at that tape, look at two things. First of all, the nigga eyeballs was popping out of his head when he was getting choked. So you saying he wasn't getting choked. The nigga tongue was out of his mouth and his eyeballs out of his head suffocating for air, bro. That's first and foremost. Secondly, bro. Bro, look how the dudes reacted. Everybody was just like, okay, like it was just okay, casually walking over, like, come on, chill, man, chill. It wasn't no aggression to like, hey man, let's help get our guy out of here. It wasn't none of that, bro. Them dudes ain't got his back like that, bro. So I agree with Damo, man. I would want to be tra- but real talk after seeing that video, I want to be traded because I know the dudes ain't got my back. Listen, I call I told you again, I talk shit to these dudes every day. I put this on my mama. I talk shit to Damo, Bob, Mars, Chill, all y'all, bro. If we ever in any place, I don't give a damn where it's at. And somebody put any of you dudes in a full guillotine chokehold, the one thing you can bet your life on is ticket is coming over the top full blast. And look, I'm right there. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't care where we at. I don't care where we at because you only have a split second to make a decision, bro. You only have a split second to make a decision. And what they could have did was – is took one for the league. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Draymond has so many people in the league that dislike his shit. On a night to night basis, you see people tired of him, right? That if a dude would have blasted him, bro, half the NBA would have called Adam Silver and said, hey, man, don't punish that guy like that. Draymond I'll pay the fine. I, I, I'll pay oh, your fine. Well, hold on, hold on. Listen, I'm with you. Look, 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 I'm I'll with you. It. But hold on. We got to understand situation, circumstance. So check this out. If I'm outside with my boy, right? I'm outside, right? We're outside. We're at the club, whatever. We're going out late night. Someone wants to fight. Right away, one of my boys, he just had a kid. Guess what? I'm gonna tell him right now. You know what? Fall back. You got a kid at home. I'm gonna push him away. I'm gonna just fall back for this. I got it. Because you gotta understand there's certain roles you gotta play different situations. So in that situation with Ant or or Cat, get get the 11th man guy to throw the punch. Cause it's not worth the season throwing a punch over something like this, and you missing 10, 15 games, and you missing out on the playoffs. Or what the situation be? Just like in your life. Hold on. If, if you're with if you're with the wifey, I'm like, yo, protect the wifey. I got us for that. Let two, three guys come at me. I'm gonna deal with it. Get your wifey out of here first, and then come back if you need to. But get her safe. You gotta understand different situations. You gotta play different roles. What's his name, my man? Right, right, right. Quick, chill, Jalen, my man. What type of cat do you equate cat to? I mean, you say you would say house cat, right? You would say house cat, right? No doubt, no doubt. He had an opportunity to change his whole narrative. He was still gonna be a cat, but he could have been a bangle. He would have shut. He, he would have been a cheetah, and ass. he he had a chance to gain all of his stripes right here, and we would have forgot him for all his soft antics. I wouldn't be up here calling a marshmallow soup. Uh, Dama wouldn't be up here saying trade him. Mars wouldn't think that he's a three point merchant. We would all respect cat. Because he stood up to Draymond, he punched Draymond. He stood. He, he, he stood on business. Now it's kind of like Cat. You're reconfirming what we know you are. 
I mean, I get it. Stand out business is cool, but you got to understand, this is still, it's still a business. You're on company time. I understand that, Jalen, I understand We're not in high school no more. We're not in high school. I do understand that this is business. This is entertainment. I do understand that part. Don't leave out the entertainment part. Don't, don't, do not leave that part out. But there's also something that needs to be regulated. And us as men, you jump on my dude in front of everybody. You now turn this into something else. When you turn this into something else, we have to act accordingly. We can't just go, yo, call the cops. Look what he's doing. No. You turn this into a fight. This is, not, this is no longer, I just said this, this is no longer a basketball game. And Draymond has a history of that. And because Draymond has a history of that, we got to deal with him like that. When Draymond comes in with something like that, you can't talk to Draymond. Draymond, don't do that. Get off of him. No. You got to deal with Draymond like Draymond. That's how you have to deal with him. So if Anthony mm -hmm. Edwards is standing right there when he got his man in the choco, it's not, yo, nah, chill, Draymond. No, that same energy that you had the other night when you was like, yo, who you talking to? No, we got to escalate that. And you know why we got to escalate that? Because he took it there. And he took it there. We have to take it there to, get, to continue to have our respect. Because now these dudes look at us like, like, yo, these dudes are soft. As good as we are as a basketball team, they think we soft. I, I think, look, I'm all for dealing with Draymond. Pull him out of the way, push him out of the way, whatever. I just think once you start really swinging, you risk a lot more in the season. You got to ask him, is it worth it? Again, we're not in high school. There's real consequences in a lot of these actions. But that punch, it is. losing a season, Absolutely just like, it is. punching a punk like Draymond, is it worth you losing a season? Is it worth you losing Absolutely 15 games and your team winning playoffs? I don't think so. If the 11th man does it on a team, I get it. If Anthony Edwards loses 15 games, that's a problem. To me, that would be 100% be a problem. If I was a coach, even if I was Ant, if I was the 11th guy on the team and Ant swung, I'm like, yo, Ant, next time, let me get him for you. You're too important for us we, to win. We've seen for, heated for moments. So we've seen heated moments in the NBA where guys who don't have a history who swing on guys, no doubt but they that. don't, but, but they don't get, excuse me, but they don't get suspensions like that. Draymond 100% should have been dealt with like he was. That's not a de-escalating situation. He took it, it went from zero to 60 with him. So we got to match that energy. I'm not saying that I'm advocating violence, but I can tell you one thing. Being on a basketball team, being on any kind of team, being anywhere, when you take it there, there is no more talking. I believe in the movie, my man said, you cannot negotiate with the tiger when your head is in his mouth. You can't. And this is where we are. That's where we are at that point. Draymond took it there. And because Draymond took it there, we got to take it there too. I am not an advocate of what Draymond's antics are, I think Draymond needs to be dealt with, and I feel like he needs to be dealt with swiftly and harshly because he's got a history of this, and y'all treat this dude like a spoiled child. That's why this stuff keeps happening with him, and it's going to continue to keep happening with him unless you deal with him accordingly. Now, let me say this to y'all. Bro, Mars, how did the Warriors compete without Draymond and Clay? They competed last night, though. Oh, they, their best defensive player was was off the floor. Bro, they competed, guy, guy bro, they competed guy last night. They had a chance to win that game last night. Yeah, they like, did. I don't know who that guy was that hit that three off the glass, but they competed last night. Like, how did y'all feel about that? About like the the competition, like how they competed after that that situation. I am ashamed. ashamed. I'm ashamed of Carl Anthony I mean, Towns. He has a, he has a history. Like this. I don't he he it's knows real. what it's like to be choked unjustly <laughs> and allowed his teammate to be no, choked unjustly and didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about that game. I didn't watch the game. No, I was watching. No, I was watching. I was watching the Nuggets game. and Clippers. I turned it over when I heard about a fight. Watched the fight. Went back to the Nuggets and Clippers. I, I heard about them. I was watching Nuggets and Clippers. Someone typed in our chat on playback. Hey, yo, Clay fighting Jaden McDaniels. I was like, oh damn, for real. When we switch to the stream, we're, we're expecting to see Clay and Jaden. All you see on the screen is Rudy off the screen. Hey, wait, hey, yo, hold, hold up, yo, the oh, chat, oh, the, the, the chat calling me oh soft. I'm running. Hold up, chat. I see ninety percent of y'all on camera. Y'all ain't built like that. Stop it. I'm breaking mm. ninety percent of you half. I just because I literally I could break ninety percent of the population half because I'm bigger and stronger than most people. Don't ever get that twisted. But we also life. smart. Don't ever get it oh, twisted. Who's Don't ever Jaylen, get it twisted. Jaylen, Jaylen, Jaylen. Bunch of the chat. Bunch of these hundred and sixty pound hey, built Jaylen, 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 you light work, dog. 
lightweight ticket. Don't don't get it Jaylen, twisted. You hey, Jaylen, I can Jaylen, give you. I can give you work. Jalen, I see you do not want to go to the weight room, me, Jalen. I see you in the weight room, dog. You're fine. Trust me. All that creatine shit don't work on you. You too small. That creatine is worse. You, hey, hey, Jalen. You, hey, Jalen. I'm gonna tell you something. You big to them. You big to them little little short stocky dudes that be in the gym. When I go in the gym every day, them dudes look up to me like I'm a monster. That's because you are ticket. You six ten. What the hell you talking about? That's why they look up to you. That's the stuff you rolling on, Jalen. We step on that, dog. Take it, take it. Don't get twisted. I catch you in a box room, you getting knocked out. Don't get twisted. You getting knocked out. We can set it up anytime. Anytime you like. Anytime. You got to get in line, Jalen. Because I'm going to get you more time. I'm going to get you more time. If Domo hit you one time, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt if Domo hit you one time. Domo hit you one time. Domo's a big dude, for sure. But he got to catch up. We got that mix of We got that mix of size and speed. So you we so did. Okay. We smart. We, we smart. Hold up. I depend. So against Mars, it's an easy one notch pocket. No disrespect, Mars. <laughs> one notch pocket. Dom, I'm going to be more smart. He's a bigger dude. I'm going to make sure I don't get hit. Catch him on one, two. It's different. We smart with it. Don't get it twisted. Don't ever get that twisted. Uh, you, and you see y'all sleeping on Jalen. Now he had to wake y'all up. Yeah. <laughs> and so now y'all know. Hey, leave Jalen alone. But uh, that wasn't the only scuffle of the night. The Warriors in the Timberwolves, it was something else that happened with the Lakers. Uh, let's, 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 let's talk about that. Let's, let's talk about AD getting into a scuffle and, and all of that other good stuff. Him, him and Bane coming face to face. How do we feel about that? Dom, I'm going to ask you first because you're AD's representative. You're, you're a Laker guy. Um, yeah, I mean, super simple. Uh, AD stood on business as a big man should. Um, uh, Aldama tried to bump him, at, uh, be a little dirty bump because he got scored on because he was upset because he's a little puss and it's fine. So he got thrown on ground and as as as, as, as and Froney Davis because th that's the big fro now. Hey, he got he let that fro out. He's a different animal. He, it's different motion when he got the fro out. He walking back up court. Then little Bane want to say something. He barked back at him and then D'Lo come out of nowhere. Throw his little butt out the way. Like and we that. keep it pushing. Like that, yeah. we, hey, yeah. we keep it pushing and let the refs settle everything else. It yeah. wasn't nothing for real. If, if that's yeah. a scuffle, man, the league really is so. That was just yeah. AD letting people know I'm I'm not Rudy Gobert. I'm, yeah. I know y'all might have seen Rudy getting choked out over there. That's not going down over here. You put your hands on me, you're getting put on the floor. Man, that's it. That dude messing around and knock AD sinuses out, man. I had that nigga crying, bro. Stop playing, dog. Yeah. Oh, as stop as playing. he was as he was laying on the ground, holding stop his saying. nose, because really, he got on, pushed. And, then, yep, and then, right. you got, then you have dudes like Bismack Biombo jumping up, man. He don't want that smoke, man. So like, I, at I mean, some but, at hey, some point, at some at some point, yo, you got to as as an adult, you a man before right. anything, and right. you got to handle yourself like that. Like I'm not a kid, and you're not just gonna get in my face, and I'm just gonna no. Right. I don't care if it's on national television. I don't care if it's in a park. If 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 you're gonna do something like that, you got to be prepared for it to be that. And I I appreciated D'Lo more than anything. That's the dude that I appreciated because Anthony Davis was looking at at, at Desmond like, make it out of my face, little dude. And not all of a sudden, D'Lo comes along like, make it you of all the people you stop talking, you get out of here. And I appreciate that from him because that's what a teammate does when a teammate yep. got your back, right? That's right. what happens mm -hmm. when a teammate got your back. As opposed to what we saw previous to that, so and that's also stuff that bonds teams too, that brings teams right. together when you see stuff right. like that. So and it also dispels for me, it 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 just it, it helps the idea that AD ain't as soft as y'all think he is, yo. He's man, not. he's soft, bro. Stop this he's shit, not. Him, man. Chill, please stop. He's this. not as soft please as you think he is, him. yo. Please tell him. Please tell him. He's Terry mm -hmm. Cloth. That means no, he he's not. Be soft. He's not as soft as you think he is. He is terrible. I seen him get in Dwight Howard face. I man, seen, get uh, out of uh, here, man. Uh, uh, he, he did that. Uh, uh, he did that. Uh, uh, wait, wait, bro, hold on. Tell me, tell me. Is that I ain't gonna lie. You know how? Hold on. No, they didn't say something. No, what Dwight Howard do to dudes? Just that same. Hold on one second. Hold on. Getting in people's face in the NBA. Are you really tough though? You want people to break it up? Hold on, Jalen. Hold on, Jalen. I gotta ask you a question. Is that really saying something that he got in Dwight's face, bro? Bro, Dwight like that, bro. So cut, man, cut it out, bro. The white yeah. likes that. He he want he want AD to get physical with him. So cut it out, man. That that don't count. 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 That don't you know how you know how nonsense you gotta be to do that to a guy that does that. The comic like the guy. You don't get no points. You don't get no points for that. You don't get no points. What? You don't get no points. 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 And on oh, top of that, you don't, that, get, no, and, 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 you don't get no points for that, though, my nigga. You don't get yeah, no you points do. for that. Yes, you, yes, you do, Ticket. And the reason why you, you get, get, man, reason, get out of here, man. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Ticket. And the reason why you do is because, first of all, Dwight Howard ain't no small dude. 
Dwight Howard is not a small dude. That's number one. Number one, Dwight Howard ain't a small dude. Number two, doing that last night, doing that last night in a game like that on national television, just to let everybody know that, yo, man, the reason why you don't get no sweet over here, it is not the reason. The reason why he don't get no points for that is because it is this one thing. The position Dwight was in. He it wasn't like Dwight was in a position where if he got in trouble, Dwight was like one of the last men on the roster, bro. And he he was trying to stay in the league at that time, bro. So he knew he couldn't do nothing back to AD, even if he wanted to, or he'll been off the team. So that's a di- that's a difference where, versus whether Dwight's a starter, all NBA performer, and he know if he get into some shit that he ain't gonna get in no trouble. He already knew he, that's like when Kobe punched Samaki Walker on the bus and Samaki didn't do nothing. He just had to eat it. He just knew that. Pause, but he just knew that you know what I'm saying. Hey, man, okay, it is first of all, that's not true. That is not true. Yes, no, it, it is true. true. He that knew that, true. bro. He no, knew that, that, that is bro. not he true. Knew Pick knew it that, if you bro. know the story. If you know the story, Samaki Walker made the bus driver pull the bus over. He did not, bro. Yes, he did. Kobe walked up to do, snuffed him out. Ask Robert Orr and everybody that was on there. That's you. He the walked book. up. Ask Robert Orr. Robert Orr is on book. YouTube. He'll tell you. Go read Robert Orr is on YouTube. Look, he'll right tell there. you. Go read Robert Orr is on his own podcast. Chill, chill. What is the what is what does the book, what is, what is the book say? And then ticket, we'll get your story. Chill. What does the book say? On him, he asked the bus driver to pull the bus over. Samaki Walker got off the bus. That's a lie. And invited Brian outside. That's a lie. That is. I'm, a I'm, lie. I'm, hey. I'm going. Hold on. Hold on. Ticket. Let him tell the story, and then you can tell yours. I'm going. I'm going off what I heard. He pulled the bus over, asked him to step outside. Bryant later on apologized to him for doing that. That's true. That part oh, is true. That, so it went down like this, man. Kobe, Kobe walked up to do. It was over a bet. And I know because I got better contacts than Chill. And Ch- all Chill got to do is, is call his boy, How? his cousin. Shaq can tell him. Tell him call Shaq. Shaq can tell you. The man was on the bus. Shaq can tell you this. He Who owed you think Kobe, the he owed, he owed, he owed Kobe money over a bet. Yeah. The old Kobe, you guys know how these guys play cars and they roll, they do all, they play have bets. Big the old Kobe, right? and Kobe kept asking him about the bet over and over again, and mm-hmm. Samaki act like he was gonna blow him off over the bet. So then the one day it was on the bus, and Kobe was just he asked him about the bet Focus again. Time off. He asked him about the bet again, and Samaki didn't give Kobe the answer he wanted. He played him off like he wasn't gonna pay him the bread. It wasn't that much money anyways. But it was the principle of that shit. So Kobe snuffed his ass out right there, and Samaki ate that shit and didn't do nothing. And he wasn't going to do nothing because he didn't want to get kicked off the team uh, by messing with Kobe Bryant because he was one of the young guys on the team. And then later on, Kobe went up. The guys told Kobe he need to apologize for that shit, for doing that to him, and he went up and apologized. He ain't never challenged Kobe to fight him or nothing like that. You can ask Robert Ory. You can ask Chill's cousin Shaquille, all of these guys. bro. That's exactly what happened, man, and that's the facts. Kobe punched him dead in his face. He ain't do nothing right there on site. He ain't do a damn thing. Just like Chill know how Kobe and Shaq got in the fight. Shaq hit Kobe. Kobe hit Shaq. They got in the fight and in practice. Boom. That All this type of stuff happened, bro. So these things happen on the regular, man. Dudes get in the fights. Like we know, the situation with Gil. Gil's on the on the plane. They get into they get into a car game. They get to arguing with Tavares Crinton. They get back to the facility the next day, and they both get in the locker room. And, you know, Gil walks up with the gat. <laughs> <laughs> Gil walks up in the locker room with the gat. You know what I mean? And, you know, him and Javaris get into it. And Javaris is like, I got some too. And they both, you know, sh- pull out their gats. And then somebody in the locker room working for the team snitch. Period. That's how they got caught. So, I mean, these these things happen in teams. And like, it's stuff happens all the time. Guys get to fight and stuff like that. Only sometimes they will get out to the media. A lot of times they don't. There's a lot of stuff that go on behind the scenes that don't even see the light of day. But that's Kobe Bryant's story saw it because they was they, somebody told that story. And that, that story was true. So the Chills version about Samaki getting on the bus, acting like he wanted smoke, that's that wasn't true, bro. Samaki oh. wanted to do something. That's true. But he he bit his he he held his pride because he didn't want to get kicked off the team. He's the same position that Dwight was in with AD. If Dwight would have got up and punched AD, Dwight would have been off the team. Remember, Dwight was crying, begging to get back in the league at that time. So, so Damo, really quickly. Read the passage. Who wrote Bryant, that book? Who, hold on, who wrote that book? Jeff Perlman. Man, get out of here, man. You, you going to listen to him? You going to listen to Ticket? And Brian Boyd. <laughs> and Brian, and Brian no, Chat, I'm running a poll. Are you listening to Jeff Perlman or Ticket? Y'all go vote on that, but go ahead. Chill. Then, then Bryant boards the bus. He marches towards Walker, glares down. Yo, Maki, he says, you going to give me my effing money? Walker pretends not to hear him, so Bryant gets louder. Maki, where's my money? This time Walker doesn't merely Walker doesn't merely ignore him. This time Walker doesn't merely, just laughs. Now this time Walker waves at him 
in an, like an air net, like an air in a net. I'll give you your money when I have it. To walk, it was all a joke. He and Brian entered the league together, and the majority of the players on the roster view Kobe's last efforts, unlike MC Hammer, forever, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It was his Beanie Siegel face, says, says McCoy. Really fake. Now, if you, if you look closely enough, he can see the steam raising from Bryant's ears. The four-time All-Star leans past Fox, draws back his fist, lunges across Walker's head and pop, punches him in the right ear. For a moment, everyone on the bus freezes. Just a moment. Walker, 28 pounds heavier than Bryant, gazes toward McCoy, his closest friend on the bus. Did this effort just hit me? Did he just hit me? McCoy nods. Walker rises, clenches his fist, and whoosh. Jerome Crawford, that's Uncle Jerome. For, that, for, for you guys that don't know, that's Uncle Jerome. Uncle Jerome, let's see, Uncle Jerome O'Neill's King Kong bodyguard and constant companion, charges five rows up, wraps up Walker in a bear hug. But not before Walker launches his this man at Bryant's head. Not surprisingly, the 63% free throw shooter miss. Ha, ha, ha. The device hits the floor. Walker is screaming at Brian, F-U-B, no F-U. Fast forward to the bus stops. Walker, his voice emotionless, looks at Brian, who gazes towards the floor. Well, you want to step off and take care of this? Brian ignores his teammate. The silence is palatable. That's what I thought, Walker. And nigga, is that, nigga, is this hooked on phonics, nigga? But anyways, like, well, like I said, chill, <laughs> chill. Uh, and, 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 but chill, bro. Yo. That's not true, bro. That's not, bro. The dude didn't want no smoke. He didn't want no, cause he didn't want to, He was in a position he didn't want to get kicked off the team. I'm just telling you the truth, bro. It's happened before. That was the same situation with Dwight. Dwight did not want to fight AD because Dwight knew if he did anything to one of the star players, you're off the team, bro. And Dwight was still trying to stay in the league. Remember, he cried just to get that position to get back in the league, and the Lakers gave him a shot under all those circumstances. He had to sign a contract with, like, a thousand different circumstances and then had to wait to, the like, February for the contract to be guaranteed. So he was on a situation where he couldn't do nothing, bro. You had to be on your best behavior. So that's that's what it was with Samaki, man. You have uh, back to then, some They point. protected star players back then, bro. You know that. You, like, you, the star you, players on the team, if you were – you weren't – if you were not a key guy, you could not get away with doing that shit to a star player, bro. You know that, too. You, you have to, at a certain point, as a basketball player, because it's going to happen. Most basketball players do not want to fight. That's not that, that that's not who we are. We, we don't want to fight. But somebody is going to test your resolve, and you're going to have to do something at some point to show that, yo, I'm not him. I'm not that soft dude. I'm the other dude. Right. I, I do play basketball, but I'm not soft. But he 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 so, don't want to so start it though, chill. So, so don't think so, so, so don't think so don't, I ain't talking about Kobe Bryant. I'm 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 oh. off that. I'm 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 off Kobe Bryant. I'm talking about guys like Anthony Davis. I'm talking about what was going on in Minnesota. You have to at some point stand in, in the words of Damo, stand on business. You have to show that yo, I am not soft because that's indicative. To what my crew is. Let me ask you one last as question. Good, as, as, as good as good Still, as Minnesota did, is, did AD stand on business in the locker room in Kentucky? Oh, <laughs> uh, Ron, hey Ron, hold on, Ron, hey Ron, Ron. Yes. we got the tape. We got evidence on that. We can play the tape. Uh, chill. I don't when think it's resonating with you. What he's talking they about. Them, when they strip them down in the locker room in Kentucky, uh, did he stand on business? You, 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 you hazing? The the hazing? Yeah, I was gonna say. You, you mean a freshman at, at 17 years old, 18 now, years old? Hold on, you a man? I'm thinking. Hold on, hold on. I'm thinking about. You talking about spending on business? I'm thinking about a man. I'm thinking about a man coming in the locker room. Can somebody do that to you and you not do nothing? I'm thinking about no, they can't. But I'm thinking about okay, I'm thinking about I'm, okay, I'm, you I'm thinking question. about a man. I'm thinking about a man coming in the locker room. You're talking about standing on business, coming in the locker room and saying during the national championship, yo, you score all the points, I block all the shots, and get all the rebounds, and we're gonna win the game. That's what I think about when I think about a man standing on business. Nah, well, yeah, what happened what happened to the what happened, happened to the locker room during hazing in college? It's a completely different situation. We gotta put hazing, man, here. get out of here, man. Ain't nobody say no. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Due to that my fake man, tough guy stuff going on. My man. If somebody strip you in the locker room down to you dude and damn near beating the hell out of you with a joint, you over here crumb man, cut out of here, bro. Ron, can somebody do that to you, Ron? He was laughing. Strip you down. He was laughing. Because he likes it. Because it's hazing. <laughs> He's having fun. He, you got his fun. Have y'all never right. hazed or been hazed on sports? I was saying, no, that's all. Hey, so they're they're, 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 they're yeah. saying now that dudes like hazing. Well, I enjoy this. <laughs> Keep stripping me down, man. Get out of no, here. No, I mean, not all <laughs> hazing, but there's dudes that 
enjoy the process in some so, way. So, I, yeah, so hold on. So, 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 Damo, sure, so Damo, there's no possible chance that the only reason why he did that is because he know he couldn't do nothing to win. He know he he, he what he's just off. He was just Terry close. I mean, when, you, when everybody on the, when every upper class on the team is hazing, and you're the only one. Maybe you realize, yeah, I mean, hey, you just gotta take this one. I, I don't know. You gonna fight everybody? You, one, you, you, know the one, you know the one. You know the one. You know the one dude. You know the one dude. I think will do something that we probably think will never do something if you push him to a point. Mars. Mars is the type yes. of dude. If you push Mars to the point, you hazing Mars and stripping him down. I think I'm Mars sure. is start going crazy, start screaming. He probably start crying, screaming, and go crazy and do something. Y'all, that we hey, y'all know Mars feet work. No, don't don't act like Mars don't got a don't got a history in soccer. <laughs> Mars hit you with a roundhouse kick for real. Hey, yo, hey, bro. Picture Mars being mad, though, for real. Like, picture Mars, like. We've seen Mars upset. That's what I'm about to say. I just see Mars turn up on everybody in the room. Yeah, we see Mars. Ron, Ron, I'm I'm, I'm like, somebody really pushed Mars to the point where. You! How about that? I've seen seen him get to the point where if you were standing in front of him, he would have swung on you. I've seen Mars get that hot. And Mars ain't a violent dude, but I've seen him get hot where if you were standing in front of him, I think Mars would have swung on you. Yo, Mars, speaking of which, um, obviously both games last night were playing tournament games. Every game last night was a playing tournament game. These games have seemed a little more competitive than what we anticipated. Do you think this has to do with the play-in, or is it just NBA in competitive nature? I think the Timberwolves and Warriors just have beef with each other. I think Chet and Wemby are just a rivalry that everyone on both teams seems to be buying into, even though the Spurs are substantially worse. Substantially um, worse, Mars. Like I, yes. I was so underwhelmed last night. Like, oh, give me a break. substantially worse. Um, and I think the Lakers and Memphis altercation was just that. Just could happen in any game, to be honest. That's it. They they have history as well, too, though. Yeah, and I seen AD say the last time that him and LeBron got to take basically the night off was the last time they played Memphis. So they seem to be pushing some buttons over there. But yeah, I, I don't know. I do think the games have been more intense, but maybe it's because of the new courts. Maybe maybe the courts are so bright, it's triggering some endorphins. I don't know. Or yep. maybe, it, or maybe, how about how about the fact that we playing for five hundred thousand dollars each? Exactly. Pa- Paulo came out and said that. That, he that said might, that that might incentivize us. I mean, that, that might raise my blood pressure if I can get a half million dollars if I'm the eighth man on the team or the ninth man on the team. Yeah. And Paulo, the I'm best player on the hard. team, and he's he said, uh, he came out and said, I don't know about these other guys, but 500k is on the line. I'm I'm turning up. I'm, I'm James said team. that. James said it, man. That don't mean nothing, man. Them dudes get that money every game, man. You, you think that they get LeBron James no, a ticket? Who uh, mm-hmm. ticket? What ninth man in the NBA is making five hundred no, grand no, no, a game? I didn't say that. I'm talking about LeBron. I'm talking about the star players. I'm saying that don't to me to the star players. It really don't mean that much. They making that every you game. Know, I'm not making that much no, every no, game. No, I'm saying you no, no. I, I'm not saying that. No, I agree with y'all on that. No, I'm talking about oh, LeBron, LeBron and, and yeah, Stephens yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm no, no I, agree LeBron, y'all. I agree with y'all. Like the yeah, but LeBron, players y'all talking about LeBron and them talking about. I agree. Yes, like with LeBron and them. With LeBron and them, it's more so. Do do I really want to like win this tournament uh situation? Like, do I really want that? Because them dudes throw that in the strip club, they make that every night. That ain't nothing like five hundred thousand. Like you making that like Russ made like last year, Russ was making like four hundred thousand a game. The, the top, top players don't care for sure. Top players that's, don't that's care. insane. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm-hmm. But 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 really, we should be talking about how, how if you're playing for that, how how James Harden said that he wasn't in shape, and that's the reason why they're losing. That's what we really should be talking about. The Clippers, woo. The Negro said he wasn't in shape, Ron. He said he wasn't in shape after the game last night, and that's why he's that's why they're playing like that. He went up uh, to the mic. Six game losing streak, by the way, too. For on those who don't know. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There's no whoa. way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we whoa, go. Whoa. I, don't, I don't care what happened. Here we go. We the Draymond thing. That's cool. Not, we can talk about any. We can talk about anything else after this. But there's no goddamn way ticket. You're about to run and talk about James Harden before you give me my goddamn respect and give me Ron's goddamn respect. About okay. Halliburton busting ass. No, 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 no. There's no way you about to sit here and act like Halliburton didn't just give Philadelphia thirty bucks, thirty bucks assists, no turnovers, and made it look easy. Ron, put me on the big screen, Ron. Put me on the big screen, Ron. No, 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 no. There's no way that you was not having that. 
Philly and any game on the five TVs you're right. you're right. you claim you're watching it on and you're watch right. my boy Harley sidestep right. game him, sidestep right. slam the door. Yeah, I, There's no way I need to hear it out your mouth, ticket. I yeah, need you to say, you know what, world? I was wrong. He popped off the screen. No, he, there's he, no yeah, way. Look, there's yeah, no yeah, way you gonna hate on that. Yeah, I, look, 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 look. I ain't gonna hate on him. Yeah, 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 right. that's crazy. Ticket, ticket, hold on, hold on, ticket, hold on, ticket, hold on. Ticket, listen, ticket, real quick before you go, ticket. Listen to me as your man, y'all. Do me a favor. Please start watching Indiana. I watch Indiana. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, I ain't talking about last night, ticket. I'm not talking about last night. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you as I'm talking. I'm talking to you as your man. I'm talking to you as your man. I, I need you to start. I, I, I need you to start I'll watching. Watch them on a nightly basis. I'm saying we go, We're look, about look, to. Have, we're about to have a conversation. Right. We've seen this. Hold on, hold on, but chill, let me ask you a question. Have we seen this before from Indiana where they get out to a good start? Something no, happened and then they lose out. Not, not, yes, not, not, they did it last year. Hold on, They started on the fourth seat last year, right? And what? Because he got hurt. Because that man got hurt. Hold on, hold on. So that's what I'm saying. Let it play out. And I'm not saying I, I'm not saying not to let it play out, ticket. I'm not saying that part. What I meant, what I am saying is, I just want you to watch him specifically. I yeah, still I want you to watch. No, 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 no ticket. If, 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 if you if you if you telling me that he's all right, you not watching him, ticket. If you tell me his game ain't pop off the screen, you ain't watching. I'm talking about backflips off the screen, ticket. It's he's doing backflips off the screen. Hold on. All the reason why I'm talking about top five boy in the league. All I'm saying is this: for as much glaze as these niggas give him, no ticket. He's he's over. He hey, he's over excelling. He's, he's no, he, hey, 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 no, for, hey, he should have been. If, if Draymond not choking people out, he should have been the thumbnail of the show. He should have been the title of the show. Yo, yeah. ticket, 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 ticket. You play basketball. If you play with a point guard in back to back games, he has 17 assists, 15 assists, in no turnovers. Listen, bro. That's a conversation to be had. Come on, listen, ticket. listen, listen. Come on. I'm and, telling hey, on. ticket, as a big man, that's that. Look, that's players that you dream he's of playing with. Path. He's on the path. No, he's not bro. on the path. Fuck that path. He I is, mean, he is the path. path. Bro, he he is the path. path. Hey, the, the path is already paid. Hold on. Y'all not going to lie on here, bro. Y'all act like I said he's a bum. When Mars asked me about him and Damo asked me about him, I told them two ninjas that the dude, I thought he was a very good point guard. Only thing you I said was, game don't hold jump hold off the hold screen. Hold on. Only thing I said was he didn't pop off my screen like CP3 did in his prime. You got too many screens. Listen, bro, I said he didn't pop off like those other guys did, right. like Russ did in his prime. Right. Like, I said he didn't do it yet, bro. I just want to see, continue to see the sustained growth because yeah, I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. We didn't, hold on, we didn't crown, hold on. Damo, let's say one thing, right? The only dude I can say that I crowned before I, he really proved something was Wimby. That's the only guy. I'm, I ain't lying, Beanie. Wait, 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 wait. All right, all right, ticket. All right, this game didn't pop up the screen last night, all right, ticket? All right, ticket. Bro, I'm bro, listen. For Did me, his game pop off the screen? Yes or no? Me, listen, bro. For me, I have to see more from him, bro. Hater. I just got to see more. Hater. I'll be honest with you, bro. Because listen, you can tease me now, and then they can go on a six, seven game losing streak, see. and then what y'all gonna be saying? Everybody, everybody, hey, okay, hey, hold you know on, what's crazy? You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I just look. Hold on, I just look. I just look. Wait, wait, wait. I just checked. I just checked. I just checked. My hater juice is empty. Take it done drunk it. What did Donald have to see from Kay Cunningham? Your hater juice. Yeah, that was lazy. Man. Kay Cunningham. You ain't heard him talk about Kay Cunningham. Your hater juice. Who's a hater? What about Kay Cunningham? What about Kay Cunningham? You ain't Take talked it. about him since. Since you glazed him at the beginning of the season. Because I'm not praising losing. That's why. What are we talking about? Okay, so all I'm saying is this. Hold on. All I'm saying is this. All hey, did you see us all come? I'm not saying the score play is probably phenomenal, but hey, again, hey, hey, Mars. Hey, let's just run up. I'm not gonna praise losing. Hold on. What Mar say? What Mar say? A sword was a hooper last night. A sword was hooper. Yeah, bro. Look, he. Yo, you got too many screens. Take it down to three screens, man. Hey, listen, man. Hey, listen, man. Hey, listen, man. I didn't start giving none of them dudes that I gave credit credit to until they started winning. Like to me, I hold Shea higher than him. I told you guys this when I came in and told y'all that Shea was gonna average thirty. Shea won that bit. No, you're not hearing me. Shea hasn't won nothing. I told you. Time out. When I told y'all that Shea was going to come in and dominate the league before last season, y'all told me I was crazy. I said he was going to come in, average 30, and take over the league. Y'all said I was crazy. Not only did he do that, he almost got his team to the playoffs. But this year, he's going to be in the playoffs. And this year, I agree with Dub, he should be a top 10 play uh, MVP candidate, even over Highland Burton. But y'all won't say that. Ticket, this is what I'm saying to you, Ticket, and, and I'm, I'm talking to you as your man. All right. The way we find out about players and the way we find out how good players are is we watch them. 
right? So let, let, let's 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 take the numbers off the table for a second. We watch these players. Somebody told me about Herb Jones, so I got to go watch Herb Jones. And when I'm watching Herb Jones, I'm seeing the dirty work defender, the on ball defender, the guy that gets around screens, and I'm like, right. yo, I'm digging this. Somebody tells me about Tyrese Halliburton. Ticket. The thing that I enjoy about watching this dude game as a league guard the most, one, you can't speed him up. Don't even try to speed him up because you're not going to make him play out of character. Not only that, he very rarely takes Did they do bad that in the shots. Olympics? He very rarely takes bad shots. All right, you got, does, you got no, quiet then when I said I, that. You I, got I, quiet I, then when I said that. Ticket, he was he was their best point guard, to be honest with you. If I'm and that, and, that, and, that was, and that was garbage because they, they I'm, I mean, I'm, it, wasn't, no, it wasn't hard to beat. No, if, if, Taylor Russell would play like so. shit, so it wasn't hard to beat. So what? And maybe he should have been playing more. Maybe he should have been playing more. Ticket, when I watch this dude, he gives me what I'm and, and Damo, this might sound crazy. He gives me Joker vibes in the aspect that what? I feel like something good is gonna happen when he got the man. Y'all nigga, I just man. I so, always so, so, feel so, like I, wait, 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 listen, listen to me what I'm saying. Listen to me what I'm saying, Ticket. Listen to me what I'm saying, Ticket. Listen to me. Listen to me. Something different than what I said. And and you and you and you were up here. Roasting Steve Kerr for his rotations. I did not during, not for that. Not, hold on, not for that. During the Olympics, you were up here roasting Steve Kerr. No, for his I was rotations. not, bro. Plus, plus, when you talk about, I don't. I want to make sure that you hear me correctly. I'm not saying he the same player as Joker. I just feel like when he got the ball, man, something good is gonna happen. Y'all niggas be how I feel, too much credit. How I, how I feel about Joker. That's how I feel about him. Y'all too much credit for the ball. Ticket, how are we you know giving him too much credit? Thirty-two assists in thirty-two assists in zero ticket. I challenge you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Ron, because I'm about to turn up. Because ticket, you the same one that came on here and told us that Cam Thomas is the best scorer in the league, and this mother and this dude has only played barely. A season, and, and you sit up here. You and every time I see him, best every scorer time I see him in the game. This is the every same league him, that got Luka running him. around. This is the same league that got Jason do he jump Tatum, off the Joker, Giannis. Do he all jump these off your dudes running around? And you said that do Cam said Thomas that jump Cam off your Thomas screen? Is the best scorer? Do he in jump the off your screen? The point that I'm making is That's is that he hasn't done anything. He has not done anything, but you crowned him that. That's the point, ticket. I'm watching Tyrese Halliburton. I honestly think, Ron, and you was you was popping him, and I wasn't really paying attention to him until recently. Been paying more attention to him in the next year, two years tops. We're gonna have a serious conversation about him being the best league guard in the game. Man, it's y'all niggas don't come, man. He ain't never gonna be better than Luka. He's never gonna be better than Luka. He's never gonna be better. 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 He's never gonna be the game. I you said that. I stand on that. And I and I stand on the logic that in the next year, two years tops, we're going to have a serious conversation about Ty Tyrese Halliburton being the best you you, guard you, in the game. You think he'll have a conversation in the same sentence as Luka Doncic? Hell yeah. If you Man, watch him, Ticket, I'm trying to hold tell hold you. Hold I'm, hold I'm hold trying to, Ticket, I'm actually hold getting hold emotional. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm actually getting emotional watching this dude because he looked like what, what I was watching when I was growing up. Ticket, that's guard. basketball. That's it's real basketball. basketball. It's the really ticket. It's real bad. It's, it's poetry in motion. Ticket, crazy, like for real. I would hey, love hey, to hey, run hey, with that dude. That nigga never be close to Luka Doncic. I would hey, love okay. to run with that dude. Holy, he's not Luka. He's not Luka. Come on here, he's not I would love to run with him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's not Luka. Chill, chill, chill. Just want to say this, chill. Luca went to one of the worst teams in the league, nigga, and by himself, nigga, without no all them superstars, he took them niggas to the Western Conference Finals. How about playing with Scrubs, don't you? Man, hold on, hold on, nigga, hold on, right hold, on hold on, hold on. I ain't talking to you. Hold on, Jack Strap. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's playing with Scrubs right now. He makes Obi Chilton. 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 look good. Man, I don't care, bro. Hey, listen, bro. Hey, listen, bro. That man coming here lying, talking about, yeah, you'll be able to compare him to Luca. Man, that nigga will never see Luca anywhere near New York. just level, man. It's levels to this shit, bro. Y'all niggas put this nigga on the level. He's a second tier guy. It stop, is, stop, stop, stop He's a second tier in. guy. He's a second tier guy right now. I didn't say he he's. Say that. I didn't he say he's. He, he, he ain't never gonna get to that level. Hold up. But to watch, 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 to, to watch a guy, to watch to watch a guy like I watched yesterday, Ron, and been watching him for the past couple of weeks. 
the fact of Man. how the fact of how poised he plays when he gets downhill, how smart he is. He very rarely takes bad shots. He always finds open. If you open, he's gonna find you. One hundred percent, he's gonna find you. And he doesn't. Very rarely does he make bad decisions when he's passing the basketball. I'm watching this dude, and I swear to God, I felt like it was 1987, man. Watching this point guard, like what? I want to run with that dude. Oh, y'all we serious? need that dude on our team. Run! Look what you have done to these people. Look what y'all have done. Take it. Don't worry. Hey, Don't worry. Y'all literally you have a nerve to run around here that this thing can be close to losing two years, bro. Ticket, don't worry, you next. I'm gonna have him on all five of your screens. Ticket, you hey, yeah, wait, uh, hold on, hold on. Is, there, is there more than three point guards I, you would take over Halliburton right now? Because they're not. I would take Luca and Steph. After that, man, I'm nigga, I don't already told nigga. I told you six yesterday, nigga. Who Tell me six yet? more. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said Luca. He said Steph. He said De'Aaron Fox. He said Jamal Murray. Uh, who else did he say? Jamal Murray got a world championship, boy. Shut That's your fine. ass up. He told Reggie, Reggie Jackson. What does that mean? <laughs> nigga, how nigga, how nigga, right was right Reggie Jackson right Jamal nigga? Murray? Come how on, man. Right now, how Reggie Jackson was starting league guard? He was starting league guard last night. Look how good he was. Playing next to Jokic. What are we talking man, about? Get out of here, man. So you don't think Jamal Murray can still – you don't think Jamal Murray can still play that level without Jokic? No, I, I man, think Jamal Murray can play at A level. He can't, he can't play at the level. He can't play at the level. Tari Halliburton is playing as number one. Bro, y'all are really turning. Hey, hey, you know what's crazy? You know what I realized? Ever since he won that chip, and I feel like I feel like it was Ox that said it on this show. The fact that people are really trying to turn this man Jamal Murray into Kyrie is sick. And I'm not going to allow that. I'm not allowing y'all to Kyrie Irving this man Jamal Murray. <laughs> Jamal Murray is a great talent. Kyrie Jamal Murray is a fine. Jamal Murray is a fine basketball player. Y'all not about to sit here and do the same thing niggas did with Man. Kyrie and sit here and say, "Oh yeah, Kyrie's better than Dame as a first option. Oh yeah, Kyrie's second option. He's better than all these point guards as first options. Yeah, Jamal Murray got to prove it. Ticket." Please, man, I need to see Jamal Murray without Jokic with team on his back and see how he plays. Because you see Kyrie in that situation, he didn't look as great. So I'm not trying to hear it. Kyrie's outburning is a number one option. You think Reggie Jackson is close to Jamal Murray, nigga? Okay. Is that what you're saying? I think a lot of point guards are close to Jamal Murray playing with Jokic. Nigga, get out of here, man. Like I said before, y'all niggas over here putting... Hey, take it, take it. I think, I think, right quick, chill, right quick, right quick, right quick. Hold up, hold up, take it, take it, right quick. Ticket, I had to mute you because Damo not liking how you playing right now, so he not playing fair. He brought backup. Bing. Oh, oh no, that's a crazy setup. So, what that's oh, that's 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 a crazy setup? That's wild. That's wild. Oh, is that the fake Oh, is that the fake bars? Yes, sir. Let's get it, baby. Yes, hey, look, oh, hey, 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 look, hey, look. I hope, I hope and pray you ain't on the same page as these fools in here talking about. This fool is close to, to Luka Donis. Please don't say you on the same page. Who told said that? Tyrese Halliburton. Yeah, no, I don't think it's close to Luka. Yeah, hey, hey, hey Ticket, I told Luka. Damo he's bugging, man. Compare him Thank to Luka. Thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, Luka we already? Cool. Oh, me and the fake Mars, we cool now. We cool. Ticket, no we agree with you. No one just heard him. Damo, Damo, did you say that, Damo? Damo, did you say that? I said that I like Reese as a playmaker better than oh, Luca, oh, oh, but that's because the passing. No. But once you equate, yeah, play, once you are, once you equate scoring into it, I can understand the argument. Wait, but if we're just, I, I don't even play the passing. Did you say it? It's a simple I'm question, Damo. Did Albert. you say? Did you say that, Damo? I say he's a better playmaker than Luca. Yes. No, 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 no. That's, no, that's no, a little crazy. No, that's a little I'm crazy. Talking about, I'm talking about putting crazy. him on the same level. Oh no, I never put him on the same level as Luca. So people I, I, are wrong. I, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Two years. I didn't say that. Two years. We're gonna be having them in the same conversation. And, and, and absolutely, I feel like that because I feel like in two years, I said no years ever. No years ever. He's playing like this. Said the same. Said the same thing. You think? Hold on, Bill. You think this is close to Luca Donis level? It's not what he's doing right now. So, so the twenty, so the twenty-four twelve. I think twenty-four to twelve on a six to one assist to turnover ratio, and what four rebound, five rebounds. This is just this is just right now, by the way. And I think this is his second season as a full time starter because he got hurt last year. This is his second season as a full time starter. It's not like he's been in the league six souls, seven man. years starting. Hey, hey, this is his second gonna, year. Souls, this is his second year. Dog. So I was gonna go this get you, bro. This is second year, bro. You gotta put no, these that, dudes in check, man. No, with that, you gotta no, with put that these dudes said, in check. No, one bro. Tyrese Halliburton take got you off Soul's ass. This is crazy. Bro, bro, me, me, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. Tyrese Halliburton. Okay, sorry, honey, my bad. Soul's coming in here and making ticket his tag team partners nuts. Damn, Mars. 
I mean, it's like bro, that. This, bro, this is unbelievable what y'all doing. Y'all are really making it seem like Tyrese Halliburton is in the same building as Luca, bro. That's I didn't say he was said that. Nobody said he's that. Not, to not, what, I said, what I said was, quote, what I said was, in the next two years, we're going to have a conversation about okay, him being and the best said right now, in the game. Said That's what right I said. Now, without the scoring, that he thinks that he, Tyrese Halliburton is a better playmaker than Luca. That's insane. That's a little crazy. Why is that crazy? Why is that crazy? We've never seen Luca. We've never seen Luca get get set. We've never seen. Are you watching what Tyrese Halliburton's doing on a night to night basis? We've never seen. We've never seen Luca go out and get fifteen assists with zero turnovers. We've never seen him get seventeen assists with zero turnovers. Ticket. We're just talking about Pat. I'm just talking about passing. I'm talking about being a distributor. I'm talking about running your offense. I've never seen Luca conduct the offense like this. So, Tyree, ahead, Tyrese Halliburton is a hey, real so, quarterback. He's he's ahead, really so, a quarterback on the football or ahead, on the basketball court. Hey, so, go ahead, oh, man. Go ahead. Oh, I want to hear Soul's opinion oh, on this. Oh, no, I, gonna, I, I really want to hear his I just, opinion. I just want to ask everyone because I asked Dom all this question when it comes to this conversation: Is passing synonymous with playmaking again, or or it's is it always not? Always been. It's always been synonymous. It's a part of the equation. It's just not the whole thing. That's the difference. Like people, people when they hear when they hear playmaking, they automatically think just passing, and that's not only what playmaking is. There's yeah, a number of different yeah. things. Because when, when I was growing up, again, uh, passing and playmaking to me were synonymous. But I feel like in the last couple of years, there's been the shift in the definition of what playmaking is to include scoring. That's just from me and my perspective of what I've been seeing throughout basketball discourse. So when Damo said Luca's a better playmaker or uh, mm -hmm. Tyrese is a better playmaker than Luca, I was like, are, are you taking scoring into account? Because if you are, then I still think Luca's a better playmaker. But if, if Damo is viewing playmaking as just passing, then you can make the case that, yeah, Ty Tyrese is a better passer. Don't do that, Soul. Because like it's not just passing, Soul. You know? See, this, this, that is where you got to get cooked, little man. It ain't just about passing, bro. Passing has something to do with your brain, too. How you run a team. Your thought process on how you run a team. So Lucas, Lucas mental is, is on, still on a different level than Tyrese Holland Burton's mental. So let's just take away this the actual putting the ball in the bucket. Lucas' yeah. ability to run a team, his mental... It's on another level than Tyrese mm -hmm. Halliburton's mental. Right. So it ain't just can I pass the ball because nigga Jay Will can pass the ball. But is his mental on the same level as Luka Doncic was? No, Jay Will will tell you that. Yeah, the thing with Tyrese in terms of running a team, why from what have, from what we've seen from him, Luka runs a team pacers, better. Luka from what we've seen right from now, him running this Pacers right offense, how can we say it's not Luka even a Donis conversation? Runs a Luka right Doncic runs a team better, bro. Luka Doncic runs a team better, bro. What what makes you say that? Yeah, yeah. In the half court, hold on. In the half court, Luca Luca creates more advantages for his teammates, and he's a better passer for the make of the half court. A lot of Halliburton's assists. Look, I'm a huge Halliburton guy, but a lot of those assists that Halliburton Halliburton gets isn't the fast break. It's two guys two guys running with him. He'll find the open man. Hundred percent, he makes the right play. But in the half court, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it is not. You have not seen him. No, no, no. It's not true. If you watch him in the half court, that's not true. Jalen, he's not Luca. Watch... He's not Luca. Right. I'm not saying that he is. I'm not saying that, saying that he is. But if you watch him, if, if, if you, watch say you him don't watch him, Jalen, just say you don't watch him. I was on Halliburton from last year. I said he was the Chris Paul of the generation, and people laughed. What? And now he's showing up. I literally yeah. Said you watched highlights, highlights and said that because there's no way you're no, watching him play and saying, oh, yeah, a lot of those assists are just coming in the fast break. Like he's not throwing dimes in the half court. Like he's not managing the offense. We literally just sat here yesterday and had a crazy ass argument I, I, with Ron because not. Ron is saying not. his ship don't move without Halliburton. The rest of this talent on the scene ain't nothing without Halliburton. And if you're no, telling yeah, me that's I'll just Halliburton you. in the fast break because he said, oh, yeah, I like to play fast versus playing slow. So now we're going to put the narrative out there that, oh, yeah, majority or a lot of his assists are just fast break assists. Hey, Damo, I tell you this, Damo. Hey, Damo, I tell you this, Damo. I tell you this since Ron was talking that shit yesterday. If you put Luca on that same team, Halliburton got Luca. Luca can get to the Eastern Conference Finals. You're lying. I mean, I know about that. To the national. So Trey Young got the whole thing. You're lying to the national audience, bro. We're on national YouTube. We're on national YouTube. We're lying to everybody. It's 27. It's 2,700 people in here. You're lying to everybody. International, by the way. Not national. But if you give Luca one of the best three-point shooters in the league, and Big Chief Buddy Yield, if you give him the young dude, Benedict, if you give him Doodle Brown, who runs the court, do all the hustle work. If you give him 
Obi Toppin. Oh my God, who's jumping over dudes, flying over cats, and can stretch the ball shooting three balls. Turner, and then sure. if you give him Miles, Miles Turner, Turner, who's one of the best Madeline. defensive bigs in the league, right. who can all pick and roll and right. play that game. Like, get out of here, man. Right. All, of the, all, 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 all of these, all of these, all of these dudes are awesome, ticket. All of these dudes are awesome. Can't but, talk no basketball. But, but with that, but with that being said, Halliburton is on a crew with these guys, and you see what he's doing. Nothing. You see what he? What do you mean nothing, ticket? <laughs> man, y'all, nothing's crazy. The, Indi the, the Indiana Pacers, the Indiana Pacers, right now, Again, they play, I, I think they play with the second best pace in the league. Not only do they play with the second best pace in the league, not not only do they play with the second best pace in the league, they got the league leading assist man on their crew. That's cool. Who does not turn the basketball over? That's, That's the cool. biggest part of being a distributor ticket. When you don't turn the basketball over, you said to me a couple of days ago the problem with the problem with who am I, who was Ron's guy in Atlanta. Trey Young. What's the problem with Trey Young, Ticket? He don't have a basketball mind. He doesn't have a basketball mind. So as a point guard, as a point guard, as a point guard, as a point guard, he turns the basketball over a lot. He takes a lot of bad shots. So let's flip that around. Tyrese Halliburton doesn't turn the basketball over. I'm not saying he don't. He takes a, he takes a lot of he takes good shots. I'm not you saying he don't. You can't speed him up. He's got the ability to get around guys and take care of the basketball and make other plays, not just for himself but for other people. That's the makings of a great lead guard. I'm not saying he ain't. Hold on. I'm not saying he ain't got the capability of being one. I'm saying he ain't nowhere near the level of Luka Donish. He ain't. I ain't taking him over Luka. I'm not taking him over Steph. I'm not taking him over SGA. Right now. I'm not taking him over uh, goddamn Jamal Murray. Or, and I'm or, damn sure not De taking Fox. him over old boy. I'm you not taking De him. I've seen, De I've seen De'Aaron Fox do more than him right now. That's right so now. I don't want to hear that. Which is right now, ticket. And right. I got That's no what problem. We're about. No, we're not talking about right now. No, because you I said to you, I said to you in the next two years. I said to you in the next two years, we're gonna have a legit conversation. He and he's the best lead guard in the game. I, I am dying on that hill. So all them other dudes barring, barring any injuries. So hold on, tell me, tell me. This is what I'm gonna cook your ass. This is what I'm gonna cook. This is what I'm gonna cook. I hope you got hope your cataracts right. This is what I'm gonna cook you for real. So SGA is gonna get worse in the next two years, or he's gonna get better. Cook. Is he going to get worse? Is cook. he going to get worse? Conversation. Or better? They're, 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 they're still cook. in the conversation. Keep going, ticket. Keep going. No, keep no, going. no. I'm saying no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Than, hold on, hold keep going. If SGA is better than him now, okay. and in the next two years, we know he's going to get better. Okay. That is, so you think that Holland Burton's going to leap? At, okay. So that, that, that's, that, that's that's one guy. Him. Keep going. Ho, ho. Keep going, ticket. That's one no, guy. Keep going. Let's start right there. Whoa, whoa, Okay. Let's just say for the sake of argument that that Shay is is that guy, and he's not over him. Keep going, ticket. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, no, you I already heard what you're saying. I'm going one, one, one. Ticket. No, I'm next one. one. No, no, I'm going one by one. I'm saying, you keep going. Halliburton next one, ticket. Because again, we're talking let about Tyrese Halliburton one, right let now. Let we're talking about one. Tyrese Halliburton right now, 24 and 12. This is who no, he is I'm right now. The next one. 24 and 12. So we keep going. Who's the next one, ticket? I'm going. Hold on. I'm just. And by the way, we're also talking about a guy who's also going to improve. I'm getting your answer on the record for the first one. Do you think he's going to surpass SGA in two years? I already told you. We, we already we already just said that. Let's okay, just say the big argument now. Okay. Keep going. So everybody in the chat room, y'all remember that right there, right? Okay. Keep we going. got that down. Keep going. We got, take right it. we got that down. Okay. So in the next two years, you think he's going to – well, yeah, I, I I can give you Steph Curry in the next two years because he's going to get okay. older. So I okay. give you Steph Curry, right? Okay. So so you not you don't think he's going to pass Luca, right? I said we're going to have a conversation. Okay, I'm not cool. sure, but we're going to have a conversation. Keep going. Okay, in the tra in the trajectory that De'Aaron Fox is going, you think he's going to pass De'Aaron Fox? Yes, I do. Yes, uh, what, I is, do. what is De'Aaron Fox as, right as, now? as a lead guard? Yes, I do. What, what is De'Aaron Fox right now as a lead guard? What is he as a lead in what, terms 20, of his numbers? I think he's I, I, twenty-five I think he's and six. I think yeah, 25, twenty-five and six, something like that. Yeah, something like that. But I think as a as a lead guard, yes, I think De'Aaron Fox will jump him in the next two years. Yes, I do. Think uh, you know, you think he'll jump De'Aaron Fox? I think that I think he'll jump De'Aaron Fox in the next two years. Yes, I do. Think I, how was that when De'Aaron Fox ain't gonna do nothing but get better, and he's in his, and he's young, he's going into his prime. And same same logic is going on with Tyrese. No, hey, oh, Damo, 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 and then as of right so now, the next two years, and then hold on, the next two years, I'm, see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna annihilate your ass. Because, you're not, you're, you're not, and you know why you're not? Old, you can't bring you, that you old know cream why? Weed shit around me. You can't you know bring that weed, cream of weed shit around me. Keep going, I'm cooking your ass three the hard way. So keep going, again, keep going. Cream of weed is crazy. De'Aaron Fox is 30 and a half points, six mm -hmm. assists we'll on 50% from the field, Mars. You go. In two years, two no. years, Tommy Hollenberg is supposed to leapfrog him. And now, let me ask you this question, Ticket. Now, let me ask you a question, Ticket. Hold on, hold on. And De'Aaron Fox is 25 years old. He ain't even his prime yet, so I'm going to keep cooking your ass. So, no Luca, no De'Aaron Fox, no SGA, nigga. So, now, let's go to Jamal Murray, right? Who's hurt right now? But how old is Jamal Murray, Chilltown? 26, I think. 
27, 26. Okay, so Jamal Murray in, in two years will be what, 28? Something mm -hmm. like that. Jamal Murray in two years will be 28, I believe, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. He'll be 28. Keep going, take it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, take it. Keep no, going. Hold on, how old is Jamal Murray? I think he's 26. 26 yeah, or 27. 26, 27. One of those two. Come on, keep going, take it. Come on. No, no, no. I'm just trying. Hold on. Give me his age. I'm trying to get his age. Trying to get his age. Act serious. Hey, he only Siri. been in the league five or six years. He's like, he, hey, old Siri, he? how old is Jamal Murray? Murray got to be like what? 20. He's 26, ticket. Keep going. Come on now. Okay, Come on. okay. 26, 26, 27, 28. Keep going. He ain't going to be better than Jamal Murray in two years. Okay. Jamal Murray ain't going to do him to get better. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, he, only thing he had to deal with, deal with only thing, oh, I'll give you one caveat. If you have injuries, that's the only way he'll pass Jamal Murray, in my okay. opinion. Okay. Now, with that being said, that's with, 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 hold on. That's he's four. He's injured that's, right now. Four. Hold on. Hold on, I ain't finished that, Ron. I ain't finished that. No, keep going. Oh, my bad, my bad, Dan, my bad. Dan, hold on, Dan, nigga, Tyrese Maxey, nigga. He gonna pass Tyrese Maxey? He's already, he's already, Tyrese already Maxie. passed Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey just, Tyrese Maxie just turned twenty three. Hold on, Tyrese Maxey just turned twenty three. Tyrese Maxey is damn near thirty a game and seven assists. Now he's best, better than that. The best team he's, in the league. He's better. Halliburton is twenty five and twelve. There's never been a guy in NBA history to get that Say many what? assists and average that many points. Halliburton is 25 and 12 right now. No, in NBA history, there's never been a guy in NBA history that many points. Hold on. Hold on. You got to listen to what I'm saying. Here's what you got to take into equation. And this is why you don't know basketball. You need to sit your ass down, Taylor. Talk when we talk him. basketball, you got to understand a couple things, a couple of variables. Var variables. Mm -hmm. He's going He's going to have a ball in his hand more, so he's going to get more assists. When you got a guy like Ooh. Maxie, listen, Maxie can play the position – but Maxi has other guys who have the ball in their hands a lot too, like MB, like uh, 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 Tobias Harris, and those other guys. So that takes that also takes down from Maxi's assist because he got other guys who can create for themselves and go get their it own. Also buckets. helps their scoring so, at a so right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Holland Burton's assist numbers are up because he does help facilitate four guys on that team like Big T, Buddy Hill, who's shooting like what 10 threes a game. So you can get assist off that, and then. Dropping it off to the bigs around the basket, he can get assist off that, right? So, but it's different when. Hold on. It. No, oh, hold on. no, 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 no. Tyrese Maxi plays with Tyrese Maxi plays with Tobias Harris. Ron, let me ask you. Plays with Tobias Harris. How many times? Hold on, you can throw it in the post to Tyrese. I mean, you can throw it in the post. Tyrese Maxi can throw it in the post to Joel and B. And, and get an assist. That's an assist. Hold on, hold that's an assist. No, you get an assist. No, nigga, shut, nigga, shut up. Jamal Murray to Jokic. If Embiid take three dribbles, that's not an assist, nigga. He don't have three or four that's dribbles. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's correct. So cut it out, nigga. So you don't know okay. basketball. Wait, but if it's in the post, post he doesn't have to take three game. dribbles. He can take one oh. dribble. Uh, no, 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 no. Right, right, right. No, no, no. I mean, if it's a good pass, he don't need to take a dribble. If he was a good assist guy. No, you're not hearing me. No. How bad got the dive? No, no, no. give it to him. He don't need to dribble. That's not how Embiid plays. Normally, when Embiid catches the ball, it don't matter where he at. He will take one or two dribbles because he likes to get his little style. Yeah, he ain't playing with a playmaker like Halliburton. What do you, no, I'm saying you could drop it to him wide open. He's still gonna take a dribble or two to get his shot set. That's how he shoot the ball. So ticket everybody Embiid, that's it. So so ticket every. I'm sorry. Keep going. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Keep going. No, keep I'm going. just saying. Oh, just there. I'm saying y'all basing it off the number of assists he getting. I'm telling y'all, look, it can be better playmakers that have less assists because they're right. on teams with better players who can create their own shot. For example, right. if you look at the Clippers team. A, a player on the Clippers team may not average uh, uh, as many assists as you think. Why? The answer could be because of one or two things. Because of the simple fact that you have guys that when they catch the ball, okay, it's like a, it's like a black hole. They Take it. Dribble, 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 and go get Take their it. own bucket. Take it. James Harden led the league in assists last year, and he played with Joel Embiid. Mm. Right. Talk about it. Why is that? Come on, come on. Hold on. Why is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop that. Stop that. Talk Why is it. that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is that? Because James Harden also had other quick hitters around him. He 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 also had dudes like Tyrese Maxey who was running the court, getting easy easy buckets in transition when James Harden would throw it up the court. He also had dudes like Tobias Harris who was spreading the floor, shooting and hitting threes. Right. So Maxey has other dudes. Right. Hold on, he and these are the same people Maxey has. Hold on, bro. Hold on, I'm not finished cooking. He also bro, had other quick hitters. You're not cooking your ball in the water. Man, y'all niggas. KG had his. Keep going, ticket. I'm. No, 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 no. So I'm saying, I'm saying. So mm -hmm. when y'all say, oh, well, SGA don't have as many assists, and okay, cool. Because SGA got players on the team that can get, go get created on their own too, like right. Giddy, like some of those other guys. So Giddy don't need him to set up, set him up and get him and get him an open shot. Because when you give it to Giddy, norm normally Giddy's going to put it on the floor. Same so, thing with, uh, what you call it? Same right. thing with, uh, uh, what's, what's the old boy's name, Mars, like that play D? Uh, I, I forget, uh, Lou Dort. Lou, Lou, Lou Dort. Lou Dort ain't no catch and shoot guy. 
If you give it to Lou Dort, he's gonna put it on the ground and, and get his own, and try to get his own shot or get to the bucket. Right. He's not he's not out there catching and shooting threes like he Clay Thompson. Now, so with that being out, said, so, now with that being said, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, Chill. Can we just acknowledge the fact that once Ron brought up the fact that James Harden led the league in assists playing with the same guys. That ticket is saying that Tyrese Maxey's passes to it can't get these assists. He switches the conversation fully to a whole different team because he fully. realized he got cooked. I didn't as soon as he realized, I right there, hold on. James I Harden didn't lead the league in assists. Playing with Tobias, playing with Joel Embiid, playing with these same guys. He says, oh, damn, uh, but SGA. No, let's stick on the six. No, you're you not hearing me. You're not hearing me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First he was getting six. Hold now on, you have a guy that's not as good as you don't know basketball. And he's not just off the hook. I didn't know basketball. You have five TVs. Hold on, hold on. You've been cooking yourself. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question right now. I'm going to annihilate your sorry ass right now. First of all, do a coach, do a coaching system help help or hurt with some players' assists? Yes or no? Yes. yes, it does. Okay, now nigga, shut your ass up. Tell me no, one. Tell me what one does play. that mean? Hold what hold does on, that hold mean? Hold on. What does that mean? What does that mean? So Nick Nurse and system doesn't hold on. Hold on, Dama. Hold on. So who led the league in, in assist playing for Nick Nurse? Who led the league in assist? Who led the league? How many assists was the point guards that Nick Nurse had? Averaging on 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 oh, average. So Are the Raptors not a lot? Are the Raptors not a lot? Hold on. Let me give you an example. Hold on. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example, right? Let me give you an example. Tyrese Maxey, Tyrese Maxey, if he played for Mike D'Antoni, he'd lead the league in assists. He averaged seven assists right now. If he played for we're Mike D'Antoni, that type so of offense, he'd lead the league in now assists. Now this is where we are. We're in the system No, chill, chill. No, 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 chill. I'm, I'm, listening to you. I'm, 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 I'm with you. you. I'm, I'm with you. Chill. I'm, I'm, I'm staying with chill. you. I'm being honest with you, and you got to look okay. at these different things. You got to look at these different variables. Hold on. You got to look at these different variables that come in the game. What type of offense do the 76ers run? They don't run the same one that they ran with Doc Rivers last year. That's facts. Mm -hmm. They don't run it because James Harden is on the Clippers right now. He can't. He don't even average four assists. Oh. Now he ain't the lead guard, but he don't right. even average four assists. Right. Right. So let's now let's take a look at this right now. Mm -hmm. So Tyrese Maxey, look at the offense that they're running now. They don't run the same offense they ran last year with Doc. Y'all would have a point if Doc was still there and Tyrese Maxey couldn't do playmaking wise what James Harden was doing with the same teammates. Nine so assists ticket. Kyle Lowry had, had nine assists to Nick Nurse. They, huh? Al Lowry at one point in time averaged nine assists with Nick Nurse as his coach. I think that was I think that was good enough. For second or third in the league. I think right. Okay. Eight. Come on. Come on. Okay. No problem. Hey. Nine assists. No, pro hey, no problem. Hold on. No problem. And guess what? He averaged nine assists, and he didn't have a player that was eating up the ball the way that Joel Embiid does. Yeah, Quan Leonard. Ticket. Okay. That's enough. Okay. No, 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 okay. No, 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 he averaged nine assists. Oh my God. Shut this your ass up. He was playing with DeMar DeRozan. That was the year they won the championship. So that yeah. was the that was, that was the not the year they won the championship. Liar, take it yeah. back. Nick. I'm I'm looking at it right now. He played with Kawhi and and Tiago. That was the that Kawhi was yes. Yeah, but, uh, he not and Fred Van Vliet. Vliet. That's they had a lot of bodies on that but, team. But, 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 but what I don't want to do is I don't want to go uh, ticket. What I don't want this to be. I don't want this to be about you know all of us against you. This was about you and me talking about. These five no, they, guys. they all will come against me, nigga. No, 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 ticket. You was, you was talking about nowhere. you was talking about these five guys, and you was talking about uh, you was talking about let's Curry, see, De De Aaron Fox. You, you, you took Curry off the board because he couldn't get older. SGA, right? De Aaron Fox, Luca, SGA, right now. What Jamal you left Murray. Out, right? What you left out is you left out what about Ty so is Tyrese Halliburton? Is this going to be the same guy in two years? And before you answer that question, ticket, remember he's only twenty three years old. So what is he going to look like in two years from now? Hold on, hold on, ticket. So if I, the Aaron Fox in two years, in two years, right, chill, chill, is going to look question. like he is. I got so at twenty five years old, what is Halliburton? Let me ask y'all a question, Damo. No, no, no. Stay with me, ticket. Stay with me, ticket. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm about to ask y'all a question. I'm with you. Do you think, Damo? Do you and Chilton think? Tyrese Halliburton would average the same assist if he was starting point guard for the Lakers. Yes. Well, no, no not the same. Hold on. No, I, I, wait, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. He ticket, would, ticket. You know why? Hold on. Ticket, ticket. He, he would not average 12. He would not average 12. He would still average 9 to 10. I still yeah, think he can average double digits. He can still average, 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 average double digits. Average he can still average double digits. Not I'm as many, yet, but definitely still average double that. digits. I disagree with that. As much as LeBron James had a ball in his hands and he's playmaking, it's not going to be enough room for all those guys on that team to get it done. I'm, and then I'm I mean, going to ask this. Why are we putting him? Why are we, why are we no, putting I'm Tyrese Halliburton? Chill. No, I'm, I'm saying, chill, listen, 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 Chill, I'm saying, depending but on I've what watched teams, teams but, offense, but you've had teams where LeBron James have had other playmakers, no, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. I just want to say, in 2019, where it was Lonzo Ball, Rondo, Ingram, those other three guys, they still average five plus six plus assists 
playing with LeBron James, who was still ball dominant. And those are multiple guys that need the ball in their hands to play make. No, you have three guys averaging. Russell Westbrook in 28 minutes last game averaged seven and a half assists next to LeBron. Hold on, hold on. There are guys that average fair amount of assists playing next to LeBron James. That's the same thing Max is giving you. So what, I, what I'm saying is that he's playing beside MB. But that's three guys that. doing that alongside LeBron. Not just one. That's three different players averaging five, six, seven no, assists no, no. alongside wrong. LeBron James. Here's why you're wrong about that. Hold on. Here's why you're wrong about that. That's because Whoa. that's the year LeBron James. Hold on. That's the year LeBron James got hurt, went out. And then they got in December, all done. those guys also got hurt in that same December. And they was out for the same amount of significant amount of time. That's not Don't hit me with the whole. Yes, they were. He who got hurt, he was missed. No, he missed all of that season. Lonzo missed a lot of that season. What are we talking about? What ticket no, no, is trying to do? What would you like to see from that's my question. No, that's, that's, this, that's this, a great this, question. That's, this, this, that's is what it, this is what it is. He wants to see it in the playoffs. He wants to see it in the playoffs. Ticket, even if he wants to see it in the playoffs. What Ticket's trying to sell, Ticket is trying to sell us that his game doesn't translate on every other team. That's what he's trying to sell us. If he was in this system, if he was in this system. That's yeah, I think he's, he's in the white system. Oh, chill, Sam. And there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with being. better with Mike D'Antoni? There's nothing wrong with being. So what? That's nothing no, wrong. With no, no, no. Hey, yes, no, and Joe, Joe Montana chill. was awesome in the West Coast office. Chill, let's ask you, chill. Yes, let me ask you a question. Hold yes. on, Mars. I'll ask you since Phil yes. got cataracts. Hey, Mars, do you, think Steve, do you think Steve Nash win two MVPs if he don't play for Mike D'Antoni? No. Thank you. You can't close but, your closed but, casket. But, but, but here's the difference, though, Ticket. It will be a closed casket. Here's, here's the difference, though, Ticket. He did play for Mike D'Antoni. And he no, did win. No, no, but I'm saying to you. Because, because he, didn't he was in like a good system. Player. And what, what, what I'm not going to do. I'm saying he didn't look like the same player when he was in Dallas with Nowitzki. Versus and just when so you know, Dallas. when he was in Dallas with Dirk Nowitzki, he still was an all-pro, Ticket. He still was an all-pro. He still was doing that. He, he still was one of the best distributors. Chill, chill. Don't say he wasn't he nowhere near that. It's not true. Maker, he still was one of the best distributors in the game. He, he still was, shot a high field man, goal God, percentage line. when he was playing did with anybody, Dirk on a run. He did, did go to the Western Conference Championship with Dirk Nowitzki. When he got with Mike D'Antoni, who sped the game up and the game got more open, got line, expanded man. his game. That is a fact ticket. But he bro, still was an all pro. No reason, I'm not you lying. Bro. These are facts, ticket. Bro, he, no, we, we get what you're saying. Let me ask you a question. Matters. I'm not. I'm not saying that everybody thought he was going to be a league MVP. I'm not saying that. What I'm asking you is, was he an all pro when he played in Dallas? Yes or no? Nigga, I'm not saying he was. Yes or no, he was ticket? Nowhere, was he an all pro when he, he played in Dallas? In yes or no? I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you, ticket. Was he an all pro when he played in Dallas? Yes or no? I'm not saying he wasn't. I yes. agree with you. He was, was he an all? Was he an but all he star when he played in Dallas? Level. That's not my point. Ticket. Was he? Was he, in was, level he, he was, was he an all star when he played in Dallas? Yes, yes. or no? Was he? Was okay. he at the level he was playing? So with that team? being said, is it ridiculous to think that if he played in a different system, which expands his game, that his game could get raised? Yes or no? No. What? So because so, I thought, because he didn't look anything. Because it's not ridiculous to think that. Not ridiculous to think that. Because he didn't look anything. Because he didn't look anything. Because he didn't look anything. He looks much better, bro. He but look that's not to like say that. Bro. That's not to say that lying, he wasn't playing fast. Here, that's not to say that he wasn't playing fast when he played in Dallas. That's so not why not Dallas let him go. He to wasn't not. Why Dallas let him go? Yeah, he didn't shut up. They, they didn't. They didn't pay him. That was the that's problem. No, why they want to pay him? Why Dallas let him go? That was a mistake, ticket. That's what I thought. That was a mistake on their part. One hundred percent. Because he landed with Mike D'Antoni. No, that was a mistake on their part. Man, but, whatever, man. Yo, <laughs> fellas, fellas, we 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 gotta keep it pushing. We gotta yeah, keep bro, it pushing. Keep it pushing. I cook this. It, I cook this nigga good enough. And, and you Bob, you hiding today? I'm gonna you cook did. your sorry ass too on on the 24th, nigga. Just make sure you bring make sure you bring more than your draws and and, and that bouquet of flowers you had in that cheap ass five dollar uh, Reverend Leon Lonnie Love church jacket you had on, nigga. I, I hope I hope you're seeing this. If not, I got a timestamp for you. A minute and thirty-two second, or a minute, uh, an hour and thirty-two minutes, fifteen seconds. Also, an hour thirty-two minutes and fifteen seconds. If you haven't liked the video and you've been watching this whole time, right now is the perfect time to go ahead and do that. Uh, we got a whole slate of games that we still need to get into from last night. A bunch of other different storylines. But before we do that. Be so you the man of the hour up here. Yeah. Is there anything that's oh pressing? God. <laughs> is there anything you need to get off your shoulders right now? Uh, just in terms of anything. Oh, anything, I just came up so? because I saw um tickets challenge yesterday. So yeah, yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on. I'm, let's, I'm coming let's talk on, about I'm that real on. quick. Why, What's up, the fake cars? Why was you? Why was you critiquing us? Like, what, what was the <clears> problem <throat> with our take? Like, y'all had a problem with my take. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, honest. Oh, my bad. Keep keep going. No, nah, I'm saying I just want to know why why you really had a, why y'all had a problem with the take that I had. What? Okay, so that's why I wanted to clarify on this uh, podcast or stream. Like, I, I, I generally don't know what you had a problem with. 
because I rewatched the video and I like barely addressed you at all, if if at all. And then the one time I did, like I was on your side, like I was agreeing with the one B take. No, no, I'm saying, but no, no, you was the eight minute and yes sir and the fake Bumani Jones over there that was with you. Well, what you mean? I mean, I, I was agreeing with some of the stuff that he, he said. He was over but... there. He was over there sounding like a low budget Bumani Jones, like, yeah, I don't know what Ticket talking about, you know, <laughs> Ticket just saying some wild stuff. I heard exactly what he said. And y'all was you talking. You need to be specific, though. I, I just, I, no, I I'm saying need to the only thing y'all was talking about in that video, you guys, and, and I think it, we was talking about. I can't remember if it was. It's something about the Lakers, I believe. We was talking mm -hmm. about. Y'all were talking about in that video. Matter of fact, oh, I should put that video. It's right here. Yeah, go but, go ahead, cause you know I'm, I'm okay, here to clarify. Okay. No, 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 it's no, not ahead of me to you, you you was on there nod your head to the beat like you fabulous or something like that. You know, <laughs> F A B O. You was nodding your head to the beat. And I'm like, oh, for Sorry, real? Okay, okay, so they want that smoke. Let's get the smoke. But no, um, realistically, man, like I said before, man, if I mean if y'all, if y'all really want that smoke though, bro, bro listen, it's 7 Eleven, dog, over 24 hours, nigga. Period. Um, I, I, this, I, 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 this, this Friday is coming is from me. I don't I, I don't want any smoke. I was just I saw no, I, I want I, all I, smoke with y'all. Y'all got a okay. good show over there. And yeah, then when right I heard right. your boy talk yeah. about some, he tried to y'all, y'all went light on Damo. Cause he, and then he gonna say, Yeah, you know, Damo's my boy. I'm like, oh, that's your he boy. He's our okay. guy. He is our yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, you know, since 2017. So it sounds like you got an issue with Sage, not souls. So yeah. why did you ask Souls to be here? Nah, because he was over there yesterday and too. He, the Dr the Draymond Green effect. You pick on me. Really. Nah, I, to, I, mm. I said Brain, hey, said Brain Bumani on too. Y'all ain't one Brain Bumani. Yeah, you said tell no, to come by himself. Yeah, yeah, you said that yesterday. You said yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because I'm pulling up on their show. Remember that. I'm pulling up on their show. When? When is that, Damo? You said on Friday, right? Friday. B Souls. When? When is the show? Ah, Friday. Right. What time? Y'all already told me. I told you. Even a podcast. Yeah, I'm pulling no, up. Playback, playback, playback. No, 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 what everyone got going on over here, over on Player's Choice, so. No hey, yo, man, all you missing is the hoodie, He's bro. He's so nice guy, man. He's so nice. Yeah, it's nice. All you missing is the hoodie on, the hoodie on, dog. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Oh. You see the OVR? You see the support, man. It's Beast Girls, Barsley. Yo, Mark, do we that ass look the same? A little bit. I don't see it. Step back a little bit. I don't see it at all. I don't see it at all. This is crazy, bro. Maybe it's the angle. Beastles got a Beastles eat a little <laughs> more cupcakes, but other than that, they kind of the same. Yeah, man. Oh, that nigga do look like Mars though. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all do look like a little bit. No I don't see it. Nah, you don't see the hoodie Mars right there. You know he's Asian, right? Yeah. So am I. Mars got a little Asian look too. Mars, <laughs> Mars, got, Mars got that Tiger Woods. He's got Tiger Woods. Yeah. 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 I did not know that you was blazing, Mars. I did not know that. Hmm. Just knew it. Mars got a little bit of Asian. I, I always thought Mars was Blazing. You don't see the Asian? I, I did not know that Mars is Blazing. Oh. Niha. Hey, uh, <laughs> I, I turned my camera on and there's rated X behind this motherfucker. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right. Uh keep it keep it a lit though. Uh B Souls in the NBA though right now. Like what you what, you, what like what you want to what you want to address? Like what's pressing for you? What's 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 going on is crazy. Oh, I if there is one thing. The Kyrie disrespect gotta stop, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't. I don't know if y'all if y'all been seeing this discourse of like the Mavs holding back Kyrie, um, and Kyrie underperforming this year. I have no problem with how Kyrie is playing. I love the fact that he's playing within the system. I love the fact that he's playing off ball more. Um, I love the fact that he's getting to his spots much more simpler. Um, he's not dribbling a lot. He's getting to his spots one to two, one two three dribbles, and that's it. I mean, he's just putting his head down and playing basketball. So I don't, I don't see a problem um, with the way that he's playing. Even though people want to see tween, tween, hezzy pull up from Kyrie, I know aesthetically it's pleasing, but like, you know, Kyrie's been balling out, man. Not, not too much on Kyrie. That's all I gotta get off. That's a good take. That's a good take, Beasles. I'm with you. Yeah. What about your Kawhi take? What about your Kawhi take, Souls? Oh. Yeah, we got we got to hold Kawhi to the fire a little bit more, man. I ain't going. No, not a little bit. Not not a not not a little bit. Not not a little bit. Come on, man. Talk about it. Not a little bit. Talk about that, though. Talk about it. Not a little bit. All I'm saying is, man, for the last couple of years, Kawhi's been put on this pedestal of a top five caliber player 
when healthy Kawhi or LeBron, when healthy Kawhi or Jokic, Giannis, this, that, and the third. And I'm looking at how this team is starting. They're 0 and 5 with a stacked roster. And I feel like in any other scenario, for those other players that I'm talking about, if it was even Jason Tatum or, or Anthony Davis, we would be cooking them for putting up what? Prior to last game, 18, uh, 4 and 3. Um, and now I think those numbers are worse. Listen, man, we're we're, point, we're pointing all these fingers at James Harden, uh, Ty Lu, you know, the lack of defense, which I think are are deserved. But we also got to look at Kawhi Leonard. That's all I got to say. We also yeah, got to look at that man. If this was Kawhi LeBron James playing like that, we start every show talking about that. Okay, Jay, then imagine then LeBron playing nineteen forty three. I'm just saying, if it was, if it was him, we'd be attacking him. Yeah, 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 you know what's coming, Moss. I mean, so you know well, I'll say it earlier. It's crazy to think that ever since that 20, 20, uh, uh, 2019 one, you know, where he has championship, ever since then, him and KD, if I if we if we said that him and KD never would win a ring since then, after the moves they made, Kawhi to the Clippers, KD to Brooklyn, and both being on these super stack teams and what we thought, and that they'd never be able to win a championship, people would think we're crazy. But look what's happened. They both have been consistent. They both dealt with injury problems. It, you know, when when healthy, sure. Have they played? Has Kawhi played great in the playoffs when healthy? Absolutely. I think his playoffs when he's when he's been there, he's played amazing. But the fact is that he hasn't been able to stay healthy. The teams have underperformed, and they should both be held accountable. You yeah. said being hurt. I mean, for, no, for, for for being hurt and the team. See, the hurt thing I get, because sometimes you can't control your body. 100%, you're not going to put full-on blame for them getting hurt. But when it constantly happens, it's like, all right. You know, at some point, it's like, you do have to hold them accountable for not being available. Do I any of you guys blame Tyron Lue? I'm cooking Brendan Murray. Cook Brendan Murray. Mars, do any of you guys blame Tyron Lue? Yeah, because I, I remember Doc Rivers got a lot of blame. I've been blaming him for two years. He was running some crazy sets yesterday, dog. He was putting like... Yo, Zubac playing, playing the best the defense corner. of his life. Same so you know what? Yeah. Kawhi at the five. Zubac should stay at the five. They need a size out there. They need him. Ty Lue is a small five. merchant. I've been yeah. saying that for two years. And he proved it again last night. And That's Brandon. what he is. He's going to run Terrence Mann, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Kawhi and Paul George. He's going to do that because he's a small bull merchant. I've been telling you guys that. He's living off reputation of seven years ago about being a good coach. I've been trying to tell people he's not that good. He made some adjustments in like 2021. Everyone praised him. Oh my God, Ty Lue, top five coach in the world. No, he's not. He just His only adjustment is Hey, they got a great big. Let's go small. That's all he can do. He can't do anything. Jokic is the biggest player on the court, the most dominant big in the NBA. Oh, yeah, Kawhi Leonard at the five. Yeah, I've got the that formula. Terrible, no, yeah. you don't. Zubac, I, thought, I thought something happened to Zubak. I thought he was hurt. I was like, what's going on? Why is Zubak not on the floor with, yeah. with, with, with Joker? That's number one. Number two. Zubak should play 35 minutes a game. I don't Mars, know. Mars, you brought up Mars, you brought up Brandon Roy. The difference with Brandon Roy and, and, and Kawhi Leonard, Brandon Roy actually quit. Like, yo, I can't do this no more. Mm. He actually quit. There's a difference. I can't play no more. Those two things are not the same thing. And so you brought up another point, which drives me to drinking whenever I hear this. Kawhi Leonard is a top five player. When, Souls? When healthy. How many? How, how long are we going to listen to that? I mean, I how long are we going to keep gonna listening lie. to that? For, how for long do we have rankings, to listen to that? I take into account availability in my rankings. I don't think so. he's top five. When, oh. I'm about to say, when we did the rankings, uh, I don't know where all that pushback was then because he definitely was put top five when he was healthy. And I didn't like that. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that. I didn't put that in there. No, I did not. I think Embiid is just bad, Uncle, to be honest. But oh, now it, oh, this is crazy. I was sitting. I wasn't on the Embiid hate train. <laughs> when we when we got when we got the three, I'm like Embiid. Y'all said everybody but Embiid until like I'm, I wasn't I'm, on the I'm, I'm, I've I'm, never I'm, been I'm, on the I'm, Embiid I'm, hate I'm, train. I'm, Okay, I've never been even, on even anyone else want to be against him. I, 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 I did that, y'all. I did that. I voted him up there. I did that, and I take that because I didn't know. I didn't know they were going to get James Harden. I, I just think James Harden completely wrecked that team. I think he's wrecked it. I don't even think it's about numbers. I told y'all yesterday I cook low because low keep talking about analytics and stats. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about psychologically, he has absolutely wrecked that entire franchise. And I think until you remove him from the room, because remember, they had a lead last night and they bench Russ for the rest of the game. Five and a half minutes. Russ goes you out the game. Russ for the rest of the game. Get, that's good to James Harden, bro. And he scored one Russell. bucket for the Russell rest of the game. Good too. Russell's playing good, too. So yeah, that's my thing. Like now you're gonna you're gonna lose Russ. You're gonna mess around and lose Russ off doing that. Cause you seen Russ face on the bench. Russ was not happy. So you're gonna lose him. You've already Kawhi is already ox. just I don't big know what's going on. Was, I, I, but I'm on some nonsense when I told Big Ox this. Yo, you need to sacrifice for the crew. Watch what happens. They was rolling with Russ on the floor. Russ comes off the floor in the last five minutes of the game. 
They scored one bucket. One. One bucket for the rest of the game. That's it. And look, look at Philly. The rest Philly, of the game, Philly. Chill. Philly's locker room seems amazing. When Joel Embiid came out said a statement, they're all playing, having fun together, playing well together, no distractions in the locker room. They're playing great on the court. Maxi right. stepped up with the Harden. So Harden leaving the Sixers and them getting significantly better, it looks okay. like, and then going to the Clippers and them getting significantly worse, it's an incredibly bad look. Jalen, that means something. I'm going to say something to y'all. 100%. I always criticize LeBron about his leadership, but I'm going to tell y'all something about LeBron James I, I, I like this year. LeBron, for example – you know how AD would get, get like a little injury and leave out the game or something like that? When LeBron banged up his shin and banged up his knee, he could have easily said, you know what, I'm not playing the rest of this game. I'm, I'm going to take a precaution. He gutted it out because he wanted to show AD something. He wanted to show AD, look, bro, this is how we got to do it. If we're going to win, again, you got to be able to gut these things out. When you have guys like Kawhi doesn't have those type of leadership capabilities, bro. And the fact that this dude, I mean, you see him sometimes yelling here, yelling there, bro. Bro, he ain't no leader, man. And when you have guys like James Harden on your team who come in and out the locker room when they please, go to the strip club when they please, do all this stuff to, you know what I'm saying, go against the team when they please, you're not going to win, bro. And the fact that they brought him in that locker room, bro, and they vouched for him, bro, it just shows you, man, that, you know, I agree with Souls, man. Kawhi don't get half the criticism he deserved. This dude, this dude's been cheating the system the whole time, faking, faking not being able to play games. But as soon as the owner didn't want to pay you, now you're playing every game, even though you're supposed to have degenerative knees. You're playing every single night now because the owner didn't pay you your bread. Bro, and, and I'm going to say this. Kawhi need to step it up. If Kawhi plays like this for the rest of this season, do you guys think anybody's going to pay him like that going into the future with his injury history and, and him playing the way he's playing? Maybe not a super max, but he's going to get paid somewhere. He gonna yeah, get paid. He's he's gonna get paid. Defense is a bigger problem with the Clippers, with the Clippers though. Yeah, with the Clippers. If no, he, I don't think the Clippers keeping him. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't yeah, think they're keeping I'll take Kawhi in Houston. Yeah, I don't think they're keeping him chill. I don't think the Clippers are keeping him. Because mm -hmm. if they don't give him an extension, they're not going to agree, turn around and just give him a full-blown deal. That's what he's going to want to stay. And I don't think they're keeping him chill. If they wanted to keep him, they would have already kept him chill. He's still got two more years. I, mean, I think Paul George has been better. No, he got an opt-out. He got an opt-out. He, he, he got an opt after it. But he still, if he doesn't opt-out, he's still got another year left on his deal. They might just He's going to opt-out chill. He ain't stupid. He's going to opt-out. Y'all, I just ran a poll. Is Kawhi top five? Y'all go vote on that poll. Uh, in case you missed this episode or in case you're just not on social media and you're living under a rock and you haven't seen these rankings, uh, on the screen right now, I'm going to go ahead and just run through them for you. Our player's choice rankings that we did right before the season. We had Kawhi at five, Luka at four, Steph at three, Giannis at two, and Nikola Jokic at one. We will be redoing these rankings here pretty soon uh in december we'll do our we'll do our tiers where we where we tier all the guards all the forwards all the big men um but when we do that i guess we'll get down to the bottom of what tier Kawhi really lies in but until then um maybe b souls is on the sub maybe we need to hold uh the flame to Kawhi. ron i will give y'all a nugget that i heard in a grapevine i'm not gonna tell y'all who told me this but i'll give it to y'all first run that ticket i was gonna say you it, drop your sources i heard this man i ain't gonna lie to y'all I heard that the Milwaukee Bucks coach job is not safe. I heard that his job is in jeopardy if they don't turn this thing and look completely different before this deadline comes up, so close to the deadline. Because I heard they're in win-now mode, and I heard a lot of people over there in Milwaukee are not happy. And it, was, it wasn't no reason. Remember, Chill, we talked about how uh, – what's the assistant coach name? Um, Terry Stotts. Uh, mm -hmm. Terry Stotts just walked out, out on the team and was like, nah, it, it, ter like, Terry Stotts didn't respect him. Mm -hmm. I was told that that's because Terry Stotts looking at this dude like this dude's an amateur. He don't know it's amateur hour over. He don't know what the hell he's doing. Well, so what, other, what, what other, what other, what other, what well, other, what other reason could it be? Ticket. I mean, you said to me before. Don't get me wrong. There's insubordination on some level, but you could look at a dude and go, "Yo, this dude don't know what he's doing." Have you watched How, the Bucks? Why, why, else, why else would he quit? Because have he, you watched the Bucks? They absolutely. look horrible, bro. The Bucks absolutely. look horrible, man. And that's they I, Miami I think again, they lose the first round, bro. I think that's lose. what happened. I think that's what happened with Terry Stouts. He was looking at Adrian Griffin like, yo, this dude don't know what he's doing. He doesn't. He does not know what he's doing. I agree. I support Adrian Griffin. So those are those are two coaches that were adding to the terrorist list. Two coaches. I don't think he's right. terrible. Okay. No, 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 chill, chill. He's bad, chill. Oh, listen, chill there's, a couple, bad, there's a couple coaches on that he list. He just got man. the job, so I don't Domo, really know. We need the whole terrorist chill. list. I mean, the only reason not now, but game. we need it sometime soon. Your guys Domo, are like the superheroes. Chill, he was handling the championship no, level. No, I'm not going to put Joe on there yet. Not yet, not yet. He's been handling the championship level around. That's what I'm talking about. So we do. So, so we got the same energy for Adrian Griffin as we have for, if they end up, let's say they end up in the East Finals. We got the same energy for him as we have for Darvin Ham. 
You they won't. No, no, no. I, no, no. I'm saying to you, they're losing in the first round. I'm watching this team, Chill. Chill. They don't play no D. Ask Mars. Their defense is horrible. And no, they, they don't play any defense because they can't. Here's they don't the thing, have nobody Chill. to play D. They the lost thing. their here's, D. Here's the thing, Chill. It ain't just Dane. Because when Dane doesn't play, they're still horrible. Their defensive schemes, their defense mean. is horrible. And they actually have players. They actually have players that they have no excuse to be that bad defensively. So that's for one. Then their offense is horrible. No real movement. You understand what I'm saying? Dame coming off the screen shooting threes or Giannis going through dudes trying to spin which, and lay it in a dunk on game, dudes all day. Which, is all, which has always been his game. That's no, Giannis that's not game. always been always, their game, though. They had a different side. Hold on. No, Giannis is a downhill player their getting their to the rim. Flow, With that being said, flow Damian Lillard with coming off threes. He's always done, coming off Middleton screen. Middleton not involved as much no more. The Middleton other guys, takes the ball off the backboard. Middleton takes the ball off the backboard and a lot of that stuff. He's trying to predicate it off defense, only accepting dudes don't play D like that. Man, and we only, cold, and I man. think we, I think we eleven games into the season, so I'm not ready to fire Adrian Griffin just yet because he just got the job. I'm not ready to fire him yet, but I do think that Terry Stouts looked at him like, "Yo, this dude don't know what he's doing." Which, I mean, yo, I just. Who you say, Mark? Okay, finesse this moment that he can bring some energy. Troll in. alert! Troll alert! What woo, he said? Woo, woo, woo. What, what he said, "Got his brother ticket. Get him on the floor." That's what he said. Got his brother. You can blame my defense. Finesse is gonna play defense. Shout out, shout bring, out him, bring him on. Troll alert! He's gonna run into the leadership. If the Bucks, if the Bucks are below five hundred by the All Star break, he's getting fired. <laughs> Bro, listen, listen, listen. Be think about the only games they won this okay. year. Dame had to go crazy, or Giannis had to go crazy just for them to beat mediocre teams. Mm. Think about that. And they Yo, really should have lost that Philly game. They really should have lost because he should have been out of bounds when he passed the ball to Dame and Dame hit that three. They really should have lost that Philly game too. So if you if you think about it, think about how they've been playing. Bro, they got the hell beat out of them by Indiana. They got the hell. They was getting the, all the other teams that beat them was really beating this team down, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You don't get no team down. like that. And listen, I'm well, all coach got, coach and by the way, the coach, Adrian Griffin got tossed in the third quarter. They should have hired, but I don't care. They should have hired a guy like an experienced guy, bro. You you don't do that so you want to win a championship. You keep saying an experienced guy, ticket. You know Adrian Griffin been on the bench for fourteen years. I don't care. He ain't the lead guy. That ain't, that's different from being the lead guy, bro. When you got to sit in that lead seat, that's different, bro. It's different than being the head guy. They should have hired an experienced head coach with championship experience. They want to win a championship. The biggest mistake that the Bucks made was letting Nick Nurse go to the Sixers. Facts. That was that was the. Yeah. Do you guys see how he got Joel to be playing right now? And Max, we, we have we haven't yeah. talked about that. Yeah, both of them, both of them, definitely, Jalen. But I'm specifically talking about the league MVP. I'm seeing a different type of Joel. In I thought that was Emay's job to be honest with you. No. Nah. Is he coach of the year right now? But year? he 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 coaching in Houston. But I I I, I thought it was his job. Him yeah. him or Nick Nurse. All right, um, before before uh y'all move on, I will have to go right here. Souls, be easy, fam. Yeah, appreciate y'all, man. And by the way, PC. Souls, don't think I don't know what time it is. I know you know where them big booty chicks is at. I can see them. I know the shades. <laughs> I know you know where they at. So stop acting like you don't know. Okay, okay I know you know where they at. The Boston. I'm, okay, you know so I'll, stop I'll acting like you don't know because I know you know where they at. Mm. All right, man. But y'all y'all stay easy, man. All love. Uh, ticket. I'll catch you on on playback this week. But. All right, mm-hmm. Sauce. Later. Good back. Take it easy, Sauce. <laughs> that was dope getting your twin up there, Mars. That was fire. <laughs> Fantastic. But well, all right, y'all. We got plenty of super chats. Plenty, plenty, plenty. If you got more super chats, go ahead and send them through. If you're in here right now, like the video. And we're going to go ahead and do the thing. All right, Chief MC said, didn't, didn't Damo say this about Dame at the beginning of the year? He been saying this about Dame. Yeah. I say, what did I say about Dame? He's an underachiever. He's a loser. He, some he's man, not yeah, that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm say, I said a lot about Dame. You got to be more specific, gang. I, I've said a lot about Dame. Well, you're right so far. He's been playing terrible. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm right. I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm way more right than I'm wrong. I promise you. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of which, not necessarily saying you're wrong about this, but this is one of your guys. Kai sent through a super chat mm-hmm. and said, Cade averaging five turnovers with 40% field goal. He stinks. If that's the case, then a lot of these guys that you're praising stink because outside of the turnovers, which I've admitted since day one, I didn't like and I thought it was horrible. And I was told by the Piston Faithful to relax, but it's still looking bad. Um, A lot of young guys who are high volume shooters definitely have low percentages shooting from the field. And this is technically his second season playing. He missed his second year, majority of second year. So he's still figuring out. I'm not worried about the field goal percentage. Shout out to James Wiseman. He played again yesterday. And had some 
How do you do? Good, good minutes. He had, had some. some he had some good minutes. He had some good minutes. He had some good minutes. Had good moments. Had some good passes. Had some good finishes. He had some good minutes. I now I don't know. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, Monty Williams. He's on terrorist watch. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Oh, he's on the list. Watch. He's on the he, fly list. He's not on the list yet, but he's definitely being flagged because that lineup he had out there to finish the game. I don't know what the I, man. I don't know what he was thinking. That was awful. What lineup was that? It was Cade. No it was Cade, Jay Ivy, Kevin Knox, um, Alec Burks, and Marvin Bagley as the five with Clint Capella in there. I have no Marvin Bagley was leading them in rebounding. Obviously, JD wasn't there because that ankle. Marvin Bagley was rebounding fine. That's fine. Why is Kevin Knox on the court to finish the game? You just got him. And it's I, I think Kevin Knox knocked down a big shot though yesterday. I didn't. Now, I didn't. I only watched bits and pieces of it, so I, I can't speak on his whole play. But it looks like he played pretty good though. Why did Again, I say a story? Why the out there to I, I said Stewart just wasn't playing for it. He just wasn't he didn't have it that day. At least in the paint. He had 10 points, but he was not doing nothing. Like yeah. no board. I want to say he either had one board or no boards. Like he yeah. was not hitting the glass or nothing like that. It was it was nasty. But even in that situation, I would have had Wiseman and Bagley up there for size purposes. A sore is playing the best. Why is he not finishing out the game? He's playing fine offensively. He's playing defense. He's getting rebounds. You need rebounding. Why is he not on the court? Why is Alec Burks on the court for the situation. And if you want to have Alec Burks out there, then take Jaden Ivey off the court. You need shooters. That was a possession at the end of the game that was pretty pivotal. Marvin Bagley gets a wide open midi and just doesn't take it. Like he, he was scared for he was scared of the moment. Life's too bright. This is a young team. They keep losing winnable games and they just have to learn how to win. But they are like down a good amount of vet players too. Bogdan, uh, Bogdanovich ain't there. Joe Harris ain't there. Monte, um, Monte Morris isn't there. Jalen uh-huh. Durant isn't there. They're missing guys. Once their vets get healthy, outside of Jalen Durant, obviously he's not a vet. Once their vets get healthy, I think these winnable games will start being won. But Monte Williams doing this lineup, adjust- hey, he's on terror's watch. I don't like it. Yo, serious question. Because uh, Mars and Damo, you guys have spoke very highly of a sore. And he bought out last night. He had uh, 21 points, eight rebounds, five assists, three steals, two blocks. That's insane. He he shot nine nine of 12 from the uh, from the field. But redraft as of right now, or just I guess just looking at everybody outside of Chet and Wimby, is he the third best rookie? He goes second. I'm not gonna lie to you. Go second in the draft. In a, in well, redraft, last year, oh so yeah, 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 yeah. In a redraft, he goes second. I, I do see as good as Brandon Miller has been for Charlotte. With how a source playing off the ball and the defense he's providing, there's no reason why they don't take him to go uh, alongside Lamella. I agree. But Any he, other has thoughts third, he has been the third best rookie. Yeah, and he's yes, he has been the third best rookie. Best so far. Um, hey, to the, to the, to the dude I just liked how he looked on offense last night. But go ahead, Trump. To the dude in the chat, what did I say about Oklahoma City? If you, if y'all remember when we talked about Oklahoma City, where did I have Oklahoma City before the season started? A I think play, I had them uh, as a bona fide playoff, playoff, playoff team. Yeah, did playoff I not? Team. Mm-hmm. And, I, and and I do have I do have Donovan Mitchell. I had him ahead of Shea Gilgis Alexander last season. I thought he should have made first team All NBA. And going into this season, I still felt like that. I still felt like that. So what did I? I'm trying to figure out what I said. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, so, I'm sorry, Mars. So, oh, my fault. Go ahead, Mark. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Um. So offensively, I just like because I think everyone who watches him, the shooting is a long way away. So we, we just understand he's probably not going to happen for a while. But I like the way he was just filling, filling gaps, cutting, playing in the spot. James Wiseman made a great like shovel pass in the third quarter, maybe where he got like a, just an easy dunk. He dunked on Clint Capella. Crazy dunk that Um. I like the way he was just seemed to be fitting in the offense. I think that's sustainable in terms of those are the ways he can score. Now, I don't think he's going to go 9 12 every game, but I do think he can get 14 points a game just off dunks, putbacks, cuts, and those type of things. And I think that's probably going to be his role in, in the offense until he can maybe shoot, which I don't know if he's ever going to be able to. But defensively, I don't think there's five better wing defenders than the Star Thompson in the NBA. And I don't know if there's been a rookie who's come in as a perimeter defender this good ever. I don't know if you guys can tell me, but yeah, it has who, do you, who do you have as a five? Who it's do you have like as a four ahead of him? He first <clears throat> no, I'm just saying he's top five just to be conservative. Like I know there's not 
five I can name better than him. He might no, be top two, top three. He's three. He he in terms of rookies, <laughs> he Wimby, Chet, then him. And honestly, he might be the best because any given night. Chet and Wimby aren't scoring. No, I'm saying in the like, league. In the league. Forget Wimby. He's talking about rookies. He's talking about – He's in the league. Oh, league. In the league. Yeah. He's a perimeter as a defender, wing, though, right? Oh, defender. Oh, my God. Oh, take take, take room protectors out of it. Take Rudy Gobert right. and them out of it. Oh, yeah. Wing Listen, defender. Mars. He's you, top five. So, you know who so, had him as a um on one of the uh, defensive all teams this year? I said it. I said he's so, going to make one of the teams. Drew, yeah. So, Drew Holiday. Caruso. 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 Marcus Smart. Nah. Nah, nah, not Marcus that. Smart. Nah, nah, nah not Marcus Smart. Nah, nah, man. Derek how, about White? Derek, how about Derek White? I'll, I'll look at Derek White. There's an argument. There's an argument. I'm, 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 I'm not mad at Derek How about Herb Jones? Nope. Nah. He's better than Herb Jones. Nah. He's mm. better. Oh, gee. I'm, I'm, I'm he is better than Herb Jones. You know what that means? I'm taking the news that I got to start watching. I got to start watching the saw more. Yeah. I'm clearly not watching him enough as a defender. I got to start watching him more. You think he's I have, than Herb Jones? I have watched every game. Okay. Every game they have played and have had a star player either going off or playing. I've watched right. him defend them, and they right. have all struggled to score on him. Outside of Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant was the only one I was busting ass. But that's goddamn mm-hmm. KD. Like, at the end of the day, you just chop your hand. That's been a de- over a decade of chop your hands up. Hey man, it's KD. Outside of Kevin Durant, yep. any guy that was going crazy or that you would perceive as a score, a sore has gave them fit. I'm not so, saying he's just locking this, everybody this, in. That's what I'm talking about. He's locking this, people this, down. This as a rookie, so you put so he goes ahead of guys like Mikael Bridges. He goes ahead of guys yes. like OG Anobi, guys like that. Yes. Already, wow. not even 15 games in his him. career. He, now I gotta start watching. Chill. Him. When I tell you defensively, he is phenomenal on that. Okay. And the I'll rebounding is in. He is a magnet to the ball. I've not. The been, rebounding numbers are insane. I, I, what I you call it? Oh, uh, well, I already know where we, Mars, we already know where the rebounding is. I, 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 yeah. I've, I've, yeah. I've, we already know where the rebounding is. I'm thinking about as an on-ball defender, how he gets around screens, how he switches, how he recovers. The biggest thing for me as a defender that I care about is when you get beat, how do you recover? Because in this league, there's a, plenty of guys that it's going to be <laughs> difficult to stay in front of them. When you get beat, how do you get back into play? So I got to pay it to because Herb Jones oh, is recovery. Yeah, you will be impressed. His recovery is elite. He cut he cuts off drives. Um, his explosiveness is right. fantastic. If, if he does get beat on a cut, he's recovering. He's smacking out off the glass. Right. His awareness is surprisingly good for a rookie. That's one thing that like a lot of rookies kind of miss, like struggle with, especially off ball defense. Right. His awareness is great. If he does get beat, the recovery is there. He gets around screens fantastically well. He understands how to switch. His help side defense is great. He can provide rim protection. The only flaw I guess he has on defense is maybe sometimes he's a little bit too aggressive and it leads to some fouling issues. That's just being young. Mm-hmm. That's just but being that's just young. being a rookie. Yeah, that's and being young. I, know I, a lot I like that, though. I like that. For, yo, if, if you're our head of attack on defense, mm-hmm. our point of attack, if you're our, our dog on defense, like even Marcus Smart, like guys like this, Drew Holiday, they'll be aggressive, but sometimes you got to push the offense around a little bit to let them know, like, yo, I'm here. I'm I'm in I'm in your chest like you I, you gotta feel me you gotta know that I'm here you it's not sweet you're not gonna be able to just b- push me over you're not gonna be able to just run through me like no I'm I'm here you yes Damo you gotta feel me pause you got you gotta feel every bit of me mm. I'm a, I, I gotta start watching just focus, the White Howard POV Fo- focus Mom focus Damo stay I'm stay sorry. with me brother. So as but I, no, I, I've I, been I've been being told by like Bezos and Sage I'm overreacting because when I'm watching him play, I'm like, God, yo, wonderful board of sort because he just flies out of nowhere and is a magnet to the ball. And it's look, and I'm when it comes to me when I'm watching basketball, I'm just so imp- I'm impressed by all the little things. That's why I fell in love with Alex Crusoe when he was a Laker. That's why I fell in love with Austin Reeves originally when he was like unknown for real, like right when like unknown Alex Crusoe, like not nah, Austin Reeves. I like the little stuff when it comes to the game of basketball. I love it. So seeing him literally get dirty, strip guys, get the jump ball he got last night with one hand, diving on the ball while Buddy's trying to – like that stuff, I love that type of stuff, man. And I'm being told I'm glazing. Oh, you can't. That's all in him, man. That's all him. That's all how he wants to play the game, and that's his drive to play the game. And and I love it. And there's no better city and better place to be that kind of player 
than Detroit because they respect dirty work guys. That's right. why they love Beef Stew so much. That's why they love JD so much. Like they love guys that work that hard. So watching him play the way he plays, it is just beautiful, man. I got uh, a lot of people, a lot of people question score. OTE, yeah. and I think a man's been hurt, but Asar has given that league some validation because people were like, well, he wasn't really going up against comp. How's this going to look against NBA talent? He's defending the league's best players and doing a fantastic job here. He's given that league some validation. He was the number five pick. And as a rookie, there's not anyone who I've seen defensively on the perimeter guard guys this well. Like, if you can name me someone who, as a perimeter defender, came in this good, I'm all is. But I'm going all the way back to the archives to maybe come up with a name because I don't know anyone who's coming I to OG, as a I remember OG in 18 as a rook. He wasn't bad. He was, he, he was a good defender as a rook. He wasn't the rebounder that Asaurus, but as a rook, he was really. And I remember him at Indiana. He came in as a defender. That's what he was. He was a dirty mm -hmm. work guy and as a defender. So I remember him when he first showed up. Now, moving forward, he clearly got better. But I mean, from the way you're talking about him, I gotta start watching this dude more because I'm clearly not watching him enough. I'm not. I just don't. I, I just can't remember. Like Mars was saying, I can't think of a time where a rookie came into the game. And you could argue them being on first or second team on defense as a perimeter defender. Maybe you could find somebody that was a rim protector or a big man that came in and was just phenomenal out the gate. But in terms of perimeter defenders, guards, forwards, I I, I can't think of rook, a time. The last rook to make the all-league defensive team was Tim Duncan in 97-98. That was it. We have not I, seen a rook make the all-league defensive team since. And I can understand. I thought Evan Mobley was going to make it as a rook. That's how I thought. Mm -hmm. That's how good I thought he was coming but, into the league. Tayshawn Prince will lead as a rook. I don't, I'm trying to think of the minutes he got. Tayshawn Prince. I'm pretty sure he was really good as a rookie defensively. But I, I think Tayshawn, as good as he was as a defender, I think he had the benefit of playing on a really good defensive team no to doubt. start. So yeah. I think so that's that's Tony team. Allen. Was Tony Allen? Tony Allen was not in the And, and this is how I know people aren't yeah, watching. The two and ten thing uh, again. They are two and ten, but this is a young team who is learning to win. And if you watch them games, they don't play like a two and ten team. Man. A new coach. They, a new they coach. have literally fumbled. It. That last game was a game that they fumbled away. I listen. Say what you want, but when you're watching a two and ten team play, and six of those games, seven of those games, they've had to leave. Six to seven of those games, they just fumbled away in the last five, the two minutes of the game. I'm not about to look at them like they're the Wizards. Them and the Wizards, there's a starch difference between them and the Wizards. The them and Memphis, the Memphis is two and nine, two and ten. There's a starch difference between them and Memphis, buddy. I, I, they're not just two and ten. You can call it glaze, but until you watch them play and see these games, man, cut it out, bro. Just say you don't like them. Just say, all right, I like mainstream basketball. I'm a casual. Just say that for me. Don't bring up their record when you're not watching them play. And I'm not trying to praise losing. That's why I don't – people, oh, you, you're not talking about Cade. Because I don't want to praise losing. I'm not a loser. I don't want to sit and just keep praising losing. But it is some impressive it's stuff kids, going man. on over there. They are kids. And, and, and on top of that, they kid. It ain't like they got a bunch of vets and they just – they got a bunch of cast-offs, a bunch of guys that don't want to be in Detroit. They got a bunch of guys that were traded there and they just can't wait to get out of Detroit. No, they actually – they, they building something down there. They actually Dumb building up. something in Detroit. Damo, I watched uh, bits and pieces of that game last night, and it's a couple things I want to uh, talk about from that game. First and foremost, I do want to say I'm pretty sure we all seen that dunk that Asor had on Clint Capella. Mm. That put him in the room. was nuts. Crazy. You seen that, Chill? Punched it right on him. He actually hit it, and he moved it out the way and then still threw it on him. I like that. And like we, I'm, we have I'm always in favor. I'm always in favor of a smaller dude going over the top of a big fella. Always in favor. That's of that. and, that. and obviously he's smaller than Clint, but that's also another thing that you guys didn't really bring up with his defense is really his size as a defender. Mm -hmm. Six seven, long and just crazy athletic. I think right. he's stronger than we all gave him credit for. Dude's gonna be a problem. But also from this game, I do want to say, um, free Dejounte Murray. And I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna speak that more. This. I'm just gonna say, Dejounte was cooking. Hey, going crazy. I'm just gonna say my new point guard rankings is gonna drop here very soon, and it's yeah. gonna be some adjustments. I, I have to give myself a little more time. I at least got to see a quarter of the season, twenty games at least. But my new point guard rankings is dropping, and free him to where some guys that I, that I some I'll guys moving up, some I'll guys moving in. I don't think it's free to Dante. I think it's hey man, time to move on from Trey. Yeah, yeah, sure. At this point, get his because his he has higher value and you can actually build something way more stable around DeJounte Trey and Trey Young. And I'm not saying it because Trey Young's a bad player, it's just 
looking how they look without Trey, looking how they're playing without Trey Young, DeJounte Murray is balling. Like, DeJounte Murray is hooping, and we all knew this going over there. Like, all right, you have two point guards in your backcourt, but DeJounte's defense is so good that you can put him at the two, and you can justify putting him at the two. But with how Trey Young started the season, he had his good games, he's had his woes, and as problematic as a lot of fans, and I'm not saying nobody up here, but they, I, Omar, God, my pod, he's an Atlanta fan. I, I, I talked to people in a, yeah, we had a beef with Atlanta, Atlanta basketball Twitter about our takes. I've heard a lot of Atlanta fans be upset with the course of how Trey Young's been over the couple of years and how this team's operate around Trey Young. If you have a guard who's an all star caliber guard in spite of Trey Young, you might as well get the most value out of him, send him on his way, and just build the best team you can. You already have a new regime outside of Clint Capella and Deion, uh, Deion, uh, DeAndre Hunter. I mean, Jalen Johnson, I mean, he's, he hasn't really played too much with Trey Young. He he's came up now. This is the first year he's getting a shot. This is a new guy for y'all. You can start over and not even have to rebuild or tank. You can still be competitive and start over with a new team. I'm not saying send him to the Lakers. Send him somewhere to a team that needs a point guard, that wants a point guard, and you can make something happen. But instead of free DeJounte, man, I would entertain Trey and Trey Young. Look, I'll take uh, Trey Young for, for OG. I'll take Trey Young for a, a trade centered around OG. You pair Trey Young with Pascal, Scotty, put some defenders around him in that team, I'll take Trey Young. I, when I said free DeJounte, I'm not necessarily saying trade DeJounte, or I'm not saying trade Trey Trey. But DeJounte, in one way, shape, or form, needs to be playing next to somebody else because he's just not allowed to be himself next to Trey. I sometimes we forget how good DeJounte Murray is. Mm. Like Trey when he's with Trey, what'd you say? Trey for Zach Levine. I think DeJounte and Zach Levine do probably work well better together than, than Trey and DeJounte, but I think that's like a lateral move, if not. You will have to get more out of um, Chicago than just Jack, Zach Levine. Now, if you said Zach Levine and Pat so. Will. <laughs> Zach, Zach Levine, Pat Will, and um, – So you and think DeJounte is better than uh, Zach? Yes. Hmm. Oh, I, I do, know. yeah. I, I don't know about that. They're different players. I mean, I'm sorry. I value defense. And in terms yeah. of production on offense, yeah, Zach Levine can give you 30 any night. DeJounte can, can produce fine on the offensive end, and he's playing leaps and bounds better on defense. So I think that – that matters to me. Had uh 30, 30, 32 and 10 last night, but I do want to take this time to shout out uh both of them. They're both Seattle guys. Uh, shout out DeJounte, shout out Zach Levine. We're we gonna talk about Trap vs. Wambi now. Man, that, that was the most disappointing. It's just it's what the Spurs have been doing all or what Ch I mean what Wemby's been doing all season. Nah, I man, I'm mad at both of them because I was that and I'm glad I didn't get this take off. The last episode, because I was ready to say, hey, fellas, last tonight is the start of the next Magic versus Bird <laughs> rivalry era. I was ready to cast this matchup up, and I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't, because if I would have, oh, I couldn't have shown my face on the show today, because they just went out there, and Wimby got smacked around, like the Spurs just got smacked, and Chet just played within the system. And it's crazy, because yeah. I said it. Chet, offensively, he's just going to play within the system, so don't expect him to be aggressive. He was just off last night. He's a team-oriented guy. I think because OKC was dominating the game, Chet didn't have to do anything special. So it's just one of those games that San Antonio didn't show up. So the 1v1 matchup didn't live up to the hype. But OKC is just a significantly better team than San Antonio. I need the commentators to stop glazing Wemby as well. This after one every play, after every, every pass, every move is something about Wemby. This is what, what Yeah, what annoyed me the most, it might have been the first quarter. Chet gets a rebound, brings the ball up the court. Finds, finds a shooter or something. Look, look, at, the, look at the skill. The skill is ridiculous. No, no, no. It was silence. It was crickets. Like four plays it's later, Wemby like does the same thing, yeah. brings look the ball the up court. Oh, my God. Wemby bringing the ball up court, mm. making a pot. Look at the That's skill. Two, two minutes ago, and it was silence. Same thing. Like, same, same exact thing. Man, see. Right, and I get it. Like, we haven't seen someone Wemby size move like that. But, like. The glaze is kind of crazy. Like, I don't need to hear you guys glaze every time he puts the ball on the ground. But then when he tries to ISO Bam out of bio and gets ripped, it's silence. Mm. I don't need to, like... It's, he's young. It's okay. Yeah, just be humble. Like, I don't need to hear that every time he does something. And Devin Vassell is still the better offensive player. <laughs> mm. Is there is there any other takeaways from this game, though, that, that you guys want to talk about? The Spurs stink. Oklahoma City is... I think they're a playoff team. I do. I think Oklahoma City is a legit playoff team. Uh, uh, 
I'm more, the more I watch Oklahoma City, this kid, Jalen Williams, who I wasn't sleeping on him. I just didn't know who he was. He kind of looked like a, a slimmer, more athletic version than of Jamal Mashburn. That's what he reminded me of when I watch his mm. game. Getting to the basket, one-on-one, um, his ability to rebound. Like, he he does the things that, like, number twos, number threes, and it's not sneaky neither. It's just that you're not paying attention to it because he doesn't – it's not a lot of flash with his game. And because it's not a lot of flash with his game, you're going to miss a lot of his game. He's one of the he, – Number one, I think he's a really good athlete. Number two, I think he can score with the best of them. Number three, I think he defends better than most guys where they are at his where they are at his age. And I think that's largely due to him going to school. He went to school, played a couple of years in college, so he came in a little bit more mature. And I think he understands the game a little bit better. I really like his game. Yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's good free. to Santa Clara, man. You become a good player. Bro, it's, it's we talk about free Dejounte oh. Murray. I want to free Jalen Williams. I think Jalen Williams on a team where he gets more opportunities could give you like twenty four <clears throat> or five and five. I was actually Three just going to ask. I, I think he's on a perfect team because what we have a tendency to do is we see dudes doing work and we automatically want to put mm-hmm. them on another team and make them the man. When what's wrong with him being on this team and doing work? But I he get him great with this crew. Like a fourth option sometimes because Giddy Giddy's definitely kind of the number two, and then Chet and then Jalen Williams could kind of alternate being the three scoring option. Those Chet. Or maybe even time. Chet. Or maybe even Chet is just. Less of a scorer and more of the rim protector, more of the rebounder, the guy who speeds the game up, but can score. But it's obvious that they but it's obvious that they go to Jalen Williams for buckets. Yeah, OKC okay, so don't have options. I'm gonna be honest. It's Shea and then yeah. everyone else is just that's, that's right. fair, they alternate. It's yeah, communism. Yeah. I'm gonna be it's, honest. It's, everyone it's has equal one, it's not just one guy. I'm after Shea, guy. after Shea, everyone else is just on equal footing offensively. So right. whoever's the open man at that point. They don't mm. they don't really like have a second option. It's Shea and everyone else. Mm. Also, Ron Opo. Kaysen Wallace is clearly the fourth best rookie after these guys. I don't know how he's not on the pole, but is he over? So you got Kaysen over Brandon, Jaime, and uh, Derek Lively. Yes, I, I've never, I, I've watched OKC play about seven games. I've never seen him miss a shot. His whole career, I haven't seen him miss one. Like it's I like promise, that. I don't know what he's shooting. I haven't seen him miss a shot yet. I've watched about seven games and I haven't seen him miss a shot. So as far as I'm concerned. He's the best offensive player in the NBA. So after Wemby, Chet, and Nassar, he's the next best rookie. Like, let me look up what he's shooting. That's Yo, I do. I, while Mars is looking at us, he's 65% I do. from the field and 55% from three. That is pretty crazy. That is he doesn't crazy. miss. Shout out, Kaysen. I'm, I guess he could go into this too. I want to ask, like, after Shea, who is. So Mar- Mars has been talking about Devin Vassell's the, the best offensive player on the Spurs and Wemby's second. Well, I want to know after Shea, who's the second best offensive player? For the for the Thunder, I think Jalen Williams is the second best scorer on that. I think Jalen Williams too. That's why I, I think, think he's he should the best scorer. I think they give Giddy the the ball more. Like I feel like Giddy, he definitely has a higher usage rate. I'm pretty sure than Jalen Williams. It just seems like he has the ball more, right? Basically, than everyone except for SGA. He's their he's best. Passer, I think, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones up the definitely ball. that better. And also, you can't team. shoot as well. So if you can't shoot as well, you probably want to have the ball in your hands because mm-hmm. it's easier to hide someone you can't shoot if they have the ball. But um. Yeah, I'd probably say Shay's obviously one, then Jada, then Giddy, then as a, as, 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 as a as a scorer, as, as a scorer, I'm gonna say I'm I'm gonna say Jalen Williams, 100. percent I'll say that. But when I think about Josh Giddy, his playmaking, his distributing, his handling the ball, him speeding up the game. I mean, if he could, I may take a little bit less of that scoring for the other stuff that he does. I think Jalen Williams on the defensive side of the basketball is also good too. I don't think he's a sore Thompson good. Don't get me wrong. I don't think he's that good, but I do think he's still good as a as a as a defensive player. But as an offensive player, I don't think it's that far off between him and and Josh Giddy. I think the Chet could be the best offensive player on this team because his skill set. I think once he grows, once he gets stronger, and once he understands the game more, I think he's going to be impossible. Oh, so Shea's defense, by the way. He might be all league defender this year, Mars. Just he's put a great it out defender. there. Bro. Yeah, he's he a might be, great he might defender. Be, he might be an all league defender this year. Shea, Shea Gilgis Alexander might be. Yeah, it's, it, it's time to just give him his flowers in general. His yeah. his growth, his progression to where where he started at and where he's at right now. It's just that's it's it's great to see. Like Shea really is <laughs> him. That, that boy yeah, is Shea's, true. Shea, yeah, Shea's different. I've been trying to. T- Push Shea propaganda for a while. I wasn't on the panel when Ticket said he'd average 30, so I didn't like 
hear it or be able to agree with it. Mm-hmm. I've been trying to tell people about. I'm, I remember on the old players' trade show, Wednesday and Sunday show, I was pushing them as a. I, I viewed them as a shooting guard back then, but I was viewing them as a five shooting guard already. I had them over the likes of Jalen Brown and Zach Levine and them, and I got pushback on that. And that was before he was averaging thirty. So sure. I've been high on Shea, but now he's like, especially based on the start of the season. It's, I don't think you can name ten players better than Shea. It's just for me. It's just his pace. I love players that play with with that type of pace, and they don't they don't do too much. Shea gets to his spot and gets a bucket. You don't ever see Shea over dribbling. You don't ever see Shea anxious or doing too much. Shea Shea literally gets the ball, one or two dribbles, or a straight line drive, and he's getting he's getting money. That's what that's why I like Johnson is on it. Unless I had I, I I had I had Donovan Mitchell ahead of Shea Gildress going into the season simply off of what he did last year and the year before that coming into this year com, coming into this season what donovan mitchell had been building at that point i feel like shay is right there maybe even maybe even jump probably even jumped him i i, I still think it's I, I still think it's close but with that what, what i'm saying is when i watch shay i just see a better version of steve smith man that's what I'm looking at—a smaller, better version of Steve Smith with a nicer handle, and he's another one of them dudes you can't you, you can't speed up, and he can defend too. So Donovan Mitchell coming into this season, you know, he had a career year last year with Cleveland, and coming into this season, I felt like he was going to have another career year. He was going to be even better because this Cleveland team was going to be even better. But I got to accept the fact that a lot of times guys just get to a point and like this is it. And there is no more. And like, like when I talk about when a guy in year five, there's a difference between you should expect this moving forward, but there still may be more. There might not be, there might not be much more from Donovan Mitchell. That that this might be it. I, I'm not sure that I'm gonna get much more than what I'm already getting from him. I feel like with Shea, there might be more there. Much more. I mean, wh- how much how much better is it gonna get? Who, Maybe the yes, three ball right. comes along more. Right. I don't. I don't know how much I really believe in it. Just based on how he gets it off, I'm not sure how much more efficient he can be, especially when it comes to like pull up threes. Right. But he's always going to be able to get to the rim and play in the mid range because he's just. Is there anyone more crafty than Shea? That's what anyone? I'm thinking about. Like, like, crafty, like yep. him creating space and getting around guys. Now, this is an ageless game, in my opinion. Like, right. Like, uh, other other than Luka, right. It's it's, yeah. it's it's very Luca like. I see what you're saying. In, in terms of just playing slow, like when you watch Shea, if you didn't play basketball and you just if if you're an alien and you right. come to the the planet of Earth and you see him playing basketball for the first time, you would think it's easy because it's it's like he's just out there just floating. He makes it he makes it look so effortless. Because like he's not a super athlete, like I said, he knows how to use the angles. I I, I think he's he's more athletic than you give him credit for. Did you guys see the one dunk he had the other night? Where he just came through the middle and just and we got a yeah, but he he's his athleticism isn't explosiveness. Like yeah, he's no, it's not like he ain't like you like like Ron said. You look at him, it's like, well, how can't you stay in front of someone who's mm-hmm. moving at this pace? Like just right. slide your feet. But it's when like change of pace to me is just like I think in a lot of sports it's just very important if you can be able to change your pace like whenever you want, just go slow to fast and then to medium to super quick to stopping a dime like that's how you can't stay in front of that because they it's like it's very reactionary they just if you cut me off here i could just spin back middle if you don't cut me off then i got i got a line all the way to the rim if you if you if you play on my hip i got a little 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 shove he gets them little little elbows in step back like he's just got counters for every single defensive adjustment it reminds me of like Kyrie and luca in like one he's got like the handle of like Kyrie ish, not like oh, he's gonna do a million moves, but like the ball's always on a string, but then he's got the counters like Luca does, and the head fakes, and then the up, up and unders, the step throughs. And it's like a mix of them two in terms of scoring, either. it's not out of control. So, one of the chat said Paul Pierce, that's, and that's interesting. So, Paul Pierce was that methodical, slow, yeah, yeah. control yeah. pace type yeah. scorer as well. Yeah, he was. And you asked Jalen about Jalen, you asked about how much better. Well, we also mm-hmm. talking about what is Shay 24. Something like that. 27? 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. So, and in terms of getting better, there's the basketball IQ. So, when I get smarter, the game slows down even more. So, with the game slowing down, now 
he could pick plays apart. He could pick his offensive game apart. He could pick his defensive game apart. So I do think that there could possibly be more. I'm not sure how much more there is from him, yeah. but I do think that there, there could very well be more. There, there are guys that I feel like, all right, I think that this is it. I don't think I'm going to see much more from this dude. And then there's guys where I feel like, yo, there's still more there. Like I felt like with Jason Tatum, I still felt like there was more there. Guys like Luca, like I don't, I don't know how much more there is with Luca. I mean, I, I feel like Luca could get smarter, but I mean, how much more do you think there is from this dude? Yeah, I mean, like, like statistically, there? how much more? Yeah, there I don't think that there's more. There's that, but I, I do feel like there might be more from from Luca. But how much more though? Like, yeah, how much? It's more really just an efficiency do? thing, type of chill. Right. It's really just making smarter plays, man, en- better enough plays. Enough with the bias, my man. Enough with the bias, yo. Nobody came to see you. OK, nobody came to see you, my dude. Nobody. You keep talking this nonsense about bias. I told you yesterday, you're the crackhead telling me to get off crack. That's you. You the epitome of bias. So enough. Bias crack? The bias. That's the, that's what it is for him. He always so. talks about this dude always <laughs> talks about me being biased. Meanwhile, he is the he is the epitome. He's the epitome of emotional. He is the epitome of bias. All of that stuff. So, my man, enough with the bias stuff. Again, you are the dude who you need to go see your sponsor and you need to chill out on the crack instead of telling me to get off of it. Cause that's you. That's uh, it. And, and, then, and, and then what, what, what he does what crack is, is he smoking? He, he, he on that saying. bias crack. He on the, he on the crack train too. So no for bias for who? Oh, he's biased for, first of all, uh, Kobe Bryant can't do no oh, wrong. He's smoking that Kobe. Uh, oh, he's, he's, he's okay, stay on. Okay. Kobe Bryant is 100% his guy. No question about that. He can't do no wrong. So uh, no, no way. That's, that's definitely that. So give me a break. All right, all right, for sure. Um, well, more super chats, more super mm-hmm. chats. Uh, Christopher D sent through a super chat and said, Stephen Adams is the perfect example of a true dirty work guy. I remember Adams de escalating Tony Bradley away from, from his point guard. Draymond could never only escalate. Yeah, he did picking dude up and walking him off. He did do that. He did, yeah, yeah, a big dude, too. That was a pretty big dude. <laughs> Uh, super chat from random guy speaks. He said, Jalen versus ticket PC heavyweight championship match. I can get the venue for the boxing match. Y'all at P y'all at PC can create the belt. Definitely got you on that. Book it live on PC. I got ticket minus two fifty. Sorry, Jalen taking all bets and your money. Yo, minus two fifty is crazy. I, I could take minus one twenty five, one thirty is cool. Two fifty, man. Yeah, two fifty is crazy. No trade, Jalen. I got, I got my money on you, Jalen. Talk Damn. about it. Minus Talk about it. That's a lot, yo. I might have to. I might put some bread on that. That's <laughs> minus two fifty. I'm taking that. <laughs> yeah, you you want to keep that bread? You better bet on me, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> tell you minus two fifty. I don't like the odds. <laughs> Daniel Mason came through the super chat and said, mm-hmm. "Crazy thing is." Tyrese Halliburton is ranked 82nd in usage rate and leads the league in assists while averaging 25 at 23 years of age. That's pretty crazy to be 82nd, yeah, and still get. get That still sounds like that's in the top like 20 percentile. He's fourth in time. He's fourth in time of possession. Just because his usage rate isn't high doesn't mean he's not dominating the ball. Yeah, understand stats, guys. Cooked. Iman, Iman G said Kawhi has been saying he was going to take over LA since 2019. When has he delivered? LeBron at 38 is more durable than Kawhi. Yeah, you just appreciate it. Kawhi's missed zero games this season. LeBron's missed one. You're cooked, mm-hmm. buddy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mars is in that mode. Y'all send through these super <laughs> chats so he, can, so he can flame you. Yeah, messing around. Uh, keeping it lit, keeping it lit. MP13 said. Not that I'm justifying what Green did, but if I'm cat, I'm standing behind him. But if I'm cat and I'm standing behind him while he got Buddy in the chokehold, how are you not taking Green's head off after seeing him drag Rudy back I'm 10 trying, feet? That, that part I didn't understand for the life of me, dude. Like, Patrick I'm not even about that. He said Cats Burgers for that. And he said he taught him better than that. Yeah, just, y'all, I, I didn't get that. Y'all, like, like, he's dragging him away in the headlock and you just going to stand or like grab his arm. Like I said, oh. at least grab him and take him off him. Like grab Damn. him, take him off, and push him away. No, nah, just kick him in the nuts. <laughs> you really start something. Give him a little bit of that payback. Yeah. The problem, Big Ox, is he ain't beating everybody else. That's the problem. Uh, Jaleel West sent through a super chat. He said, "Just seen yesterday's episode. We as Philly fans, we respectfully don't want Demar over here." <laughs> Y'all good? 
<laughs> Respectable. Y'all could. Look, Kelly Oubre comes back healthy. I don't think it will be. <laughs> Nicholas Arroyo said, I don't know why everyone blaming Griffin when Dame's shooting 28% and everyone is adjusting. He's shown great adjustments and he's trying, he's trying out a lot because there is seven to because there are 72 games in the season. Laughing my ass off. Overreaction. I do think Dave's in a little bit of a shooting slump, and that will get better throughout the season for sure. I think it's I'm funny how this dude in the chat, like, it's funny as hell, Ron. Like, I'm a part of your day. See, like, Mars, Damo, Jalen, Ticket, these dudes are a part of my day. I see these dudes on a regular basis. You ain't a part of my day. I'm actually a part of your day. You think about me when I ain't here. That shit is incredible, yo. You live in like if, you, if you if you wasn't here, I'm still here with these dudes, still doing my thing, still chopping it up with them. You on the other hand, you in here, and I'm a part of your day. Make that make sense, my man. Man, send him a poster. Damn, that's what I'm thinking about. Like getting a poster and put it put put me on your wall, B. Chill, you gonna sign it? Absolutely, I'll sign my name on it. Put me on your wall, fam. Uh, when you sign it, are good. you gonna are you gonna write a message to him too? Or are you just nah, sign just it? sign it, just bam, just put me on your wall, my man. And y'all dudes call me emotional. Meanwhile, y'all talk about y'all y'all talk stuff about me, y'all insult me, y'all say everything, but when I clap back, I'm emotional. Whatever. You know something funny? I just got back from my bad. I had World War Three in the bathroom. Um, I was looking and I seen <laughs> I, I, I seen underground scoop TV. I knew I, I know a couple episodes ago. He was uh, trolling. We we addressed him as a troll. It's funny because when I seen you in All Cities live stream, the 2K guy, you weren't trolling over there. You you was, hey, man, W guy. You're great. Supportive. <laughs> uh, I, I love this dude, All City, man. You was real nice over there. But you come over here, you just get the you just get the, tr the, the, the trolling? That's crazy, gang. Man, it's the chat man. warriors. It's the chat warriors, man. Super corny. My it's fault, like chat. I had, to take a, I had to take a Mookie, chat. My fault. <laughs> oh, I swear, Mookie in the chat too. Oh, no. Winter said do a super chat and said, "Where do y'all think Bones Highland should get traded to?" Because Ty Lue told him he would be out of the rotation for the foreseeable future. Personally, I think Bones should play. Before you answer that question, my man, that doesn't make any sense. Y'all don't know ball. I don't respect y'all. But you hear, like, you want to hang around a dude that don't know what he's talking about? Hey, Damo, if I'm up here. Or well, not even up here. If you see me, and I clearly don't know what I'm talking about, do you want to talk to me? Hell no. Nah. Do you want to hang around me? Hell no. Nah. Meanwhile, you here every day, my man. You don't respect. You don't respect nothing we talk about. We don't know basketball, but you here every day. So make that make sense. Can you do that or not? Nah? With a whole membership. On top of that, but you don't respect us. That's like going to a restaurant and the food nasty, but you keep coming to eat there. Food gotta be good. I ain't gonna hold you for, for that trade. Hey man, I got a Gabe Vincent hot and ready for you. <laughs> oh, hey, I got a Gabe Vincent hot and ready for bones. Hey man, I love it. Not mad at really that at all. Anybody else have landing spots for Bones Island, or should he just ride away in the bitch? Back to Denver. Bones Island. No, not back to Denver. Not they what you call it. it. His yeah. defense too cooked for a playoff team to play in meaningful minutes in the playoffs. Maybe Dallas? Could Dallas use him? His defense is too That's cooked for a playoff team to play in meaningful and, minutes and he, in the and, and he's a, and he's a bucket. I'm going to go Jaden Hardy. They don't even need him. And he's a bucket getter too. So, like, he could score. So, I think a, guy, a team like Brooklyn, could he could help them. They got Cam Thomas. Who's out with an injury. And who's going to be slow weeks. coming? But, but he's going to be slow coming back. Nah, he's he gonna come back, back and drop I, I do think I do think he's going to come back. No question about that. But they could use some more scoring over there in addition to Cam. Yeah, yeah. Nicholas Paxton's come back recently, so yes, he has. Well, once he gets once he's fully acclimated, mm -hmm. the all defense propaganda will be pushed again. All right, keeping it lit. Jules sent through a super chat and said Terry Cloth stood on business. Yeah, he did. So I want to get straight. If it's game five in the playoffs, let's say of the second round or finals, do you want a player to punch someone in any case? If it's game five and, and the series is 2 2, you wouldn't, yeah, right? They're playing against my team, yeah. Guess it's no, but, but I'm saying, but you wouldn't, though. If someone, if someone, let's say that chokehold happened, something happened, would you want a Jokic, a LeBron, a, a Giannis, any of those guys punching for their teammate? 
There's no way I would want that. There's no way. Could we understand the situation? No, right? but I would expect Jay Crowder to punch for Giannis. Sure, exactly. So Jay got exactly. Jay Crowder punch for Giannis. I'm not Giannis him. swinging on him because we need yeah. Giannis way more than we exactly. need. I, I expect I expect Thanasis to come in and do hundred percent exactly. That's what they do in hockey. When when the star player gets hit, they send a rough guy in there and they start a fight. You have guys who do that for you. Sounds like a fun joke. I'm telling you, in hockey, there's guys strictly there just to protect the star players and fight when needs to be uh, fights when they need to be fought. Another super chat from Yurt said, "Y'all may not know his name yet, but Haywood Highsmith on Miami is a future All Defensive Player and is six and zero as a starter this season. Look out he for gives, him. He gives them Miami good minutes." Tax. Miami yeah. Tex. Well, he does get them good minutes, though, Mars. Eric Spolster. Yeah. Hey, started Max Priest and Gabe Vincent. Mm. Mm. So, Miami But the, the, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I like people Smith. I do like him. I was about to say, Mars, because what, what I'm not doing is I'm not getting on Struess as I mean, – I'm not getting on Highsmith as, 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 a, as a scorer or as a shooter. No, he doesn't do any of those things. He's more of, a, he's more of an in-between wing, really good in transition, really good defender. That's who he is. Now, I think that if he was in New Orleans – I think that if he was in Minnesota, I think that if he was in Brooklyn, if he was in Washington, he'd still be a dirty work guy. He'd still be a really good defender. I don't Max Struess, on the other hand, who goes to Cleveland and gets plenty of open shots, he can't shoot the basketball. I think Highsmith game translates. Yeah, Miami Tech. <laughs> Rambo E. Mm -hmm. 1996 said, Damo, we living in a Charmin soft society. Don't grab my teammate. Shit would happen. Shit wouldn't happen. Hey, I totally agree. I'm, like I said, from Draymond's POV, no cap. All he seen was Rudy go over there and get involved. He know what Rudy was trying to do. He was just being a high-headed teammate. And that he was doing what I would expect somebody like Draymond to do. Was it right? No. But it was expected. And it was hilarious. And I'm always for anything hilarious. Mm -hmm. Ladarius said the T-Wolves might not like Rudy, though. Take it. They don't, obviously. I don't think they do. I think he's I back. He, he's and he's about to win defensive player of the year. I was going to say, That's he's crazy. back to being elite defensively. Which I would love, by the way. Which that was even, what, four or five? Block. You see that game-saving block right there. It would be four. Four. Grande Jones said, didn't Xavier McDaniels choke Wesley Matthews' dad? Did he? Choked the other player's dad? dad? Mm -hmm. well, Wesley Matthews' dad was in the league. Yeah, he was. Oh, okay. I thought it was like outside. Okay, I thought it was like outside. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> Xavier McDaniels, was, he, 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 was good, he was good for doing stuff like that. <laughs> Just on the screen but, now. Xavier, yeah, McDaniel was, on there. Xavier McDaniel was another dude who knew who to mess with and who not to mess with. Like, he never, he never got in. In Horace Grant's face, but he got in Scottie mm -hmm. Pippen's face until Jordan had to step in and make it clear that yo, that's enough for that, and stood up to him. But you know, at, when you're talking about bullies, when you're talking about goons, they know who to mess with and who not to mess with. And Draymond is that dude. I don't think he's a fake tough guy. I just think he's selective. He knows who's to mess with and who not to mess with. Are you a fake tough guy if you're trying to fight during a game though? Because you know it's going to be like broken up by like 50 people. You know what I mean? It's like that guy being like, hold me back, hold me back. But it's like, mm -hmm. you know, there's guys that hold you back, but he acts like he's going to fight. So yeah, I see, that's what I do. That's a fake tough guy. Yeah, that's a yeah, fake guy. That's why I, I just, like, I've seen, I think it was what, Ricky Lonzo Ball, a second year when everyone was getting into a fight and he just walked over to the bench and he's like, no one's really going to fight anyway. It's the NBA. <laughs> 100%. I stand with Lonzo. I know no one's really trying to fight. Like, I've seen people mm -hmm. when they're really trying to fight. Because a lot of people get aggressive when they know someone's about to hold them back. So they can be like, yeah, I really want to fight you. And then you let go of them. And they still ain't moving forward to anyone. Like, you guys don't want to fight. You guys want to act like you're ready to fight, but you're not. So, I, I stand with Lonzo. These people aren't here to fight. They, they don't want to fight. They just want to act I've like seen, they're not punks. I've seen Draymond tussle with a couple guys, man. He, he He's about it if they're about it. But I don't think... Well, no, I've seen Draymond walk up and punch, and punch somebody in the face. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like Draymond, Draymond, might Draymond, Draymond might be different. Draymond Genuinely, my, I don't think Draymond's a fake tough guy. I genuinely don't. Man, I, I, I don't either. If, if he thinks he can win the fight, I don't think he's a fake tough guy. But Draymond, he's smacked the, win, Draymond, Draymond smacked the civilian for trash talking LeBron while they was getting drinks. I don't think he's a fake <laughs> tough guy. I think he's just a hothead. 
That's another thing. Do the same. If I make it, if, if I make it forty million dollars a year, I don't care what no no one say to me. I'm just gonna laugh at him or just walk away. I'm not slapping a bunch of exactly to me. Like, come on, you're making forty million dollars a year. I'm worried about some drunk guy at a bar talking to me. I'm gonna just laugh. But that, that's what that's the thing. Why he's, he's really a hot 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 LeBron. That's what I'm saying. That, he's uh, really he's yeah, really. But you got to defend your king. You have oh, to. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. That's just the historic. I'm gonna buy you the money I save from him suing me. I'm gonna buy you a Ferrari or Rolex or something. I think you appreciate that more than me. I, everybody yeah, offended that king. Mars, did, he, 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 that. did he go straight up his crown and then uh, do the make make yeah, sure you know he, he you have to do that, man. You have to make sure your king is king is good. That's that's it's the historical standard. They, they whoever is out, saying Tristan well. Thompson punched whoever is saying Tristan Thompson punched him in the face, I know you've never been in a fight. He did not he pushed he mushed him with a basketball. Like I don't I, again. I know you haven't really been in a fight if you're calling that a punch in the face. Like, stop it, fellas. Like, let's relax. And again, watch the clip back. There were people in between them. Did you want to pull Isaiah Stewart? Like, if that's what you wanted, then okay, he's soft for not trying to get the action and doing whatever it takes to get it. There were people in between them, bro. Like, I wasn't, it is I, what it is. I, and in the chat, people saying only, only soft guys don't hit when someone's talking shit to you at a bar. Look, I have plenty of guys who back, who back in the day when they were younger, they chose a different path in life. They were walking around with their guns, this and that, doing that. But guess what? Now they got real jobs, real careers, a family, yeah. kids. If someone says something, they're just going to walk away and laugh because they have other priorities in life than to fight some random dude. I guarantee you, get a real career job and real stuff going on in your life. We ain't gonna be fighting for no nonsense. I promise you. The only reason you feel Lord have mercy. I'm talking about on the court, you idiots. What yeah. the hell? Y'all talking about a nightclub? I'm talking about what happened on the court with me and Chelsea were talking about earlier right. during the game. No one is talking about what happened at a nightclub. What are we talking oh, about? Oh, chat, chat, I gotta use your heads. Yeah. Y'all ain't more Focus, chat. Focus. Focus. This dude asked me, would I confront Draymond? If I had to confront Draymond, yes, I would. Hey, okay. I, I would not. <laughs> I would. If I had to confront <laughs> him, yes, I would. I have objects for people like Draymond. I'll just objects. leave it like that. Okay. Draymond does not scare me. Shh. He does not, just so you know. No, he does he not scare me. terrifies me. No, he does not. He does not scare me. Of no. course. So, so, so for me to ask, so for you to ask that question, Luncho, which is what your boys call you, as an L, which is <laughs> why would you ask me that question? If you, it's a rhetorical question. If you don't think I would, then why would you even ask me that? Because I would. If I had to confront him, I'm not afraid of him, Luncho. So, give me a break. Oh, to answer your question, Nate, top ten all time. I think he'd be a four time All League, four time Defensive Player of the Year. I think we have to have a serious conversation about. Rudy Gobert being one of the best rim protectors, he may very well be a top ten defensive, top ten defender all time. So, bringing up that depot, uh, yeah. you know, the defensive player of the year yeah. it, is Anthony Davis getting the Tim Duncan treatment? Like he's yeah. just great every year, but it's just not going to win it because for whatever reason. Literally he's really 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 now don't now don't 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 get me wrong, Jalen. Dudes that play at that level, yeah. they don't get they, they. I don't think that they get minimized because mm. Tim Duncan might be Tim Duncan and Scottie Pippen might be. The two best defensive players never to win defense player of the year. It wasn't around when Bill Russell was playing. It wasn't around when when uh, Chamberlain was playing. That wasn't going on. Um, Jabbar was already later on in his career. So th those two things is different, right? Like those two things is different. But guys like guys like Tim Duncan, guys like Scottie Pippen, you know, Dennis, Ru those guys, Scott, I'm, I'm sorry, Scottie Pippen and Tim Duncan, those guys play at a high level defensively. So I, the fact that Rudy Gobert won the defensive player of the year, it suggests that during his era, how awesome he was as a defender, as a rim protector, and as a paint presence. So I'd have to put him in the same conversation with guys who also did that, like David Robinson, like Matumbo. I got to put him in that conversation. I have did, to. did Tim Duncan get more love defensively after he retired? Because I remember, I mean, watching him, the defensive guys people were talking no. about more was like Matumbo, Ben mm -hmm. Wallace. Mm -hmm. um, Tyson Those Chandler guys. was getting more love defensively than no. Tim mm -hmm. Duncan. What those teams play? that he was on, the reason, and that's why he was getting the love, because those teams that he was on, they were awesome defensively, and it was because of him, and it was being but broadcast. That, that was, it was because I, I never heard people talk about Duncan. Like, now, I think Duncan, a lot of people have him in their top five defenders all time, or most, top mm -hmm. five, top three, but I, he was never talked about like that when he was playing. It's because he didn't get the highlight blocks, because Tim Duncan was, like, the blocks that everyone loves are like the Dwight Howard yeah. blocks. Those blocks, like you smack it in slap the third row, to a nineteen right. throw. Like that's right. Tim Duncan's blocking the ball out of your hands and keeping the ball in bounds. Oh, ooh, right. what a block! Like no one cares. 
And someone in the chat said it. Bruce Bowen was getting a larger portion of defensive player of the year versus than Tim Duncan. A lot Which of those. Yeah. Which is not because nuts. also promoted defense got more love a, lo a lot of the time. Now I know Ben Wallace was winning defense for the years, but he's kind of not oh. just in the Dwight Howard realm, but like it was had more pizzazz. The defense had more pizzazz. They jumped off the screen. Tim Duncan True. just uh, who cares about the Spurs? Like I keep trying to tell people, no one cares. Like just this boring team. Uh, got a super chat from Chief MC. He said yesterday, when the Lakers are playing the Grizz or were playing the Grizz, the announcer said that a player on the Grizzlies was on the, on the Grizzlies was Bronny's teammate. Bro, LeBron is old. The announcer said, Yeah, when, when he played Houston, um, they did a graphic of LeBron played against Ime Udoka six times in his career, and he played against Jabari Smith Jr.'s dad four times or something like that. I'm like, Played with his coach. Like, <laughs> he played yeah, against. Like, he played against his coach, Darvin Ham, too. Yeah, like that's. Like, he played against his coach, Jason Kidd, too. Might as well just really out here, man. Really out here. Yeah, just absolutely. I, I played against the the dude up in. It, it's it's nuts to say that it's dudes in the league that I played against your father, Kenya Martin Jr. I played against your father, mm -hmm. Gary Payton Jr. I played against your father, Jabari Smith Jr. I played against your father. But right, I played against uh, your Gary, too, Gary Trent. Up at Gary Trent. I played against your father. So yeah, you've been around for a while. Too long. He needs to retire. Yeah, so he still got. He still got, he still got what? Two two sons to play with. Brody coming next year. Bryce after that. He's still here for a couple years. Jamal Williams said Ant was supposed to stand on business. The league and the media would have stood behind him. You guys agree with this? Yes. They definitely would have. Not the league, but well, in terms of everybody else in the league, not like the actual officials, but yes, the the community, like the players, all the fans, everybody would have supported it. And it been, I, he would have been a superstar if he would have socked Draymond <laughs> in the face, <laughs> especially with Cat not doing that. If he would have went over there and stood on business <laughs> after Draymond talked crap to him and he dropped thirty on him <laughs> and he popped him in the face, he's a superstar. Yeah. He's a super. He'd be a social media yeah. superstar for sure. Yeah. The clips will be everywhere. Yeah. Nah, he's on. He is on JJ Reddit podcast. He on Paul George podcast. He on Jeff T podcast. The all the OGs is looking at him like he's a superstar. KG gonna double him a superstar. Everybody gonna give him his respect at, at that moment. He got that dog in him for. He, they'll say he cut from the MJ cloth then. Every, man, Gilman oh Gilman man, would have went on air and been like, "Oh no, nah, he is. Cut from, I was wrong. He's cut from the MJ cloth." And if he broke his knuckles or hurt his hand when he's out a while and he gets suspended, everyone's like, oh, he's an idiot. It can go two ways. It can go both ways. Yes, no, he'll get not, not, maybe, he maybe, maybe with somebody else, but with Draymond, I don't think so. Uh, it, it, it was just. It was just. If, if, if it, it was, like, if it was Draymond, it been, he would have definitely gotten the thumbs up. That and knuckle will heal back. That would have been like, the knuckle will heal back. Which is, it's okay. which, is, which is interesting because the guy in the, in the front office, in the NBA office, that's going to be handing down suspensions was a member of the bad boy Detroit Pistons. That's the that's that's ridiculously ironic. That Joe Joe Dumas, man. <laughs> maybe you know that case. Maybe Joe Dumas would have a little more leniency. That's, that's what I'm thinking. No, I think he said. I think I seen. I seen a quote. I don't know if it was real. Something about Draymond being a repeat offender, and that's what opens it up for yeah. suspension. Something like that. So it's likely he gets right. suspended right. for 15 games until Christmas. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas Arroyo said, "I want Isaiah Stewart on my team just for smoke." I remember when that whole thing happened, Damo, with him and James. Right. I remember Russell Westbrook going, come on over here. I ain't scared of you. I do remember that. But Westbrook's about that life. I do Russ remember that. Russ had his hands up like, come on over here. I ain't scared of you. He and to see, yeah. and, and to see say, Brandon Miller and to see Brandon people. Miller getting his face like that, I was surprised now, at that. Now, look, now that's the difference. Now, with Russ, it was it was like 12 people between them. Like, I'm not I, – I'm expecting Russ to, to beat the theatrics and throw up the little the, – the West Coast <laughs> – the, the West Coast squabble. I, I expected that. <laughs> but for Brandon Miller, for listen, nobody between them. He's like, what are you going to do? Like, I, hey, it's it, hey, it's in the car. Like Brandon Miller was twice, I literally mean, it walking might out, walking actually the really in be. The car. It might really be in the car. It's no, no, it's really in the car. Oh, it is. But for him, they get into it once. He dunks on them, and then during a timeout afterwards, they're walking by, and he really like bumps him and looks at him like. What's up? See, it wasn't even them. I think it was two other teammates. And then when they converged to help, they got into each other's faces trying to break the teammates up. So I'm like, yeah, Brandon Miller, you wouldn't expect that from him. And that's why I know he's a dog for it. That's why I know they did the right thing taking the number two. I thought of a sword, of course, but yeah, he's a dog. 
I really like Brandon Miller for real. But uh, keeping it pushing, the Maurice, the the Green Maurice Sports said Draymond, aka Homer Simpson. Nice. I guess. Gr- Grande Jones said, didn't Draymond and Clay kick the Portland Trailblazers' ass in the playoffs without Chef Curry? For three games. It was 2-1 when that stuff came back. What year was that? 2016. Okay. Because he had the knee injury against Houston. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm with you. Grande Jones also said, didn't Rudy punch his teammate last season? Yes, he did. He did and, he, he he was about to get by his team. Yep, and he was about to get jumped by all his teammates. And I'm telling you, man, hey, if I'm Rudy, I'm asking for a trade. These guys do not like me for real. I'll take Rudy. Nah, I just not know that. Free Nas Reed. Free Nas Reed. I'll take him in LA. Hey, I got a game, Vincent. I got a game, Vincent in the pig, baby. I got a game, Vincent. Hot Rudy. Dombo Dombo shouting up that used car. That's what Dombo doing. He's shouting up that used car. Come on over and get a come on over and get a test drive. Come check it out. Dombo got Gabe Vincent wrapped up. Hey, that's NBA Finals experience right there. I know for I know for a fact. As soon as I get this bitch off the lot, the muffler gonna fall out of it. I am. Gabe Vincent Finals experience. NBA Finals experience. Sure, Mars, you drove the car over here, got here. It looks great. But I know for a fact when I get it off the lot, what's going to happen. I'm good. Thank you, though. Uh, Trent Foreman said, if James Harden joined Kobe acting like this, Kobe would have humbled him quick. No, I, I don't I think, think that I it would have. I don't think it would have even happened. I don't think it would have happened like to where it is now. I don't even think it would have happened that quickly because you saw what happened when, when Metal World Peace got on the crew. We got to the bottom of that before the season even started. No doubt. Listen, dude. This is what we're trying to do around here. We trying to win. We don't need none of that nonsense that you come in here with. And I'm not going to take it from you. So Yo, you either get on our page or get your ass out of here. James Harden not even trying to go play with Kobe. And Kobe's yeah. not co-signing James Harden. Them two is staying. Look, if Kobe's in the West in the Western Conference, James Harden trying to be in the Eastern Conference. Vice versa. Like, yeah, Kobe's just, not trying to play with someone better than him. I get it. Mm. Troll alert. <laughs> he already, he already with Shaq. He don't Troll alert. Again. Yeah. All right, makes sense. I didn't. I forgot the fact of that part. Yeah, yeah, his ego. Yeah, okay. You're welcome. Jeremy Sanchez said, "Need to talk about the Heat. They are rolling. Also, also already linked to the Alex and Zach Levine. If they get them, what do you guys think? And and or should they? I think Bam is up. up there right now. Bam is up there right now. Like you talked about, Wimby. Bam is in that conversation for defensive player of the year. He's playing phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Almost, a, I, I think he's a twenty and ten guy. Um, the way he got that defense rolling. The, pro- the problem that I have with Heat fans is that they think that they're underrated. Like, yo, we talk about the Heat all the time, but they want you to talk about the Heat all the time. Like, ain't no other basketball going on. We respect the Miami Heat. I'd be surprised if Pat Riley pulled off this Alex Caruso to Miami. Wow. No, nah, he ain't got Alex Caruso. That's not allowed. You can't if, give Eric Spolstra Alex Caruso. Yeah, if he pulls that you off, can't do that. my goodness. Why, why is it suddenly every Zach Levine trade, everyone just wants to pair Caruso with him? And because Alex talk. Caruso is the more valuable asset. I get it. I get it. But exactly. Like, Caruso's worth something on his own, like a significant chunk of pieces on his own. So I, with I that think, being said, though, I think he's a throw okay, I'll take him. He's if, if anybody pulls would, off Ross. a Alex Caruso and Zach Levine like move and gets both of them, Look out. That's a good move. Yeah, you're doing your great. job. That's a great That's a good move. Your job. Hey, Dabo, who, who, who did the Lakers got ready for those two? Hey, Gabe Vincent, Torian Prince, mm. a, a first round. Hey, man, I even be generous. Cam Thomas, too. Get Cam out of here. If, that's, <laughs> if we Tom get Caruso, Tom, 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 Tom. I'm not Cam Thomas. Reddish. Uh, Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caruso? For huh? Caruso? <laughs> yes. What? Hey, hey, for real though, Damo, in all, in all seriousness, in all seriousness. Oh, no, no, in all seriousness, if it's, if it's for Zach Levine and Caruso, then I'm saying, I'm genuinely saying D-Lo, Cam, uh, D-Lo, Torian Prince, Gabe Vincent in the pick. That's what I would say. Would you put Rui in there? No, no, Matt's Christie. That's would I put Rui in there? If yeah. they put Pat Will in there? No. Mm, we another piece. No. <laughs> no. No. Trying to get it all. Hell no, Damo. Not mad <laughs> me no. I'm not giving no damn Rui. Even if you put another piece in there, no. I'm not trading Pat. Wait, I'm not trading with, Rui. For hey, Pat hey. Rui. No. With, with how that terrorist with the lump on his head ain't using him, you might as well trade him. He's just wasting away. 
Yeah. Also, chill. You still got what's his name that ain't even played. That's why I said the Lakers really got yeah. The Lakers got sneaky depth. Like they they can afford to give up somebody. The reason and why still be good. This, the reason why they brought this crew back was because of what they saw last year in the potential. You already want to gut the second unit. I'm not. Again, you already want to do when that. We, when we look at the beginning of the season, when we look at the beginning of the season, and I don't want to say on Lakers too long because I know people are sick of talking about them. But at the beginning of the season, we seen where we getting 13 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes. Darvin yeah. Ham with a full roster, I know for a fact, Darvin Ham is not going to use Roy this year. He's going to give Gabe Benson 30 minutes like he was doing, which is why I want him gone. He's going to play um, Tori and Prince, and now Kim Reddish emerging as uh, – as like I said, with Tori, with um Cam Reddish being the Malik Monk of this year, he he's going to get a lot of minutes too. Rui is going to suffer. It's not because he's bad. I love Rui. It's just the fact that our coach is an idiot. Thank you, Raquel. Our coach is an idiot. He's gonna he's not using him right. So if you're not going to use him right, then guess what? Let me get Zach Levine and Caruso, two players you're going to use, and Owen Pat Will, so we can get another long wing guy who can potentially maybe develop if we keep him. Why I'm not? Still on the, I'm still on the train that you're trying to get your ex back. You let her walk out the front door, Domo. I ain't trying to hit hey, her. I ain't you're not getting the bag. Hey, not. Hey, bring, him the back. bring him back home to Texas, man. I'm the best yeah. friend. I'm the best friend. I was telling my mans don't let her walk, and she did. Now I'm telling him, hey, go get her back. You aren't you without her. That's, that's, a, good that's, that's a good best friend. That's a good friend. Facts. Big Tony man. said, cat caught PTSD when Ben choked him out. From when Ben choked him out. I ain't nobody on the crew do nothing then, by the way, when 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 Ben nope. had cat in the chokehold. Nobody did nothing then neither. He so was now on the this, ground at the bottom. He was of the on the house. ground. He had him in the chokehold and nobody did nothing then. <laughs> Could have kicked him in the ribs, hit him in the back of his head, something. Nobody did nothing. Ben injured again, by the way. Yeah. 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 His, back, his back again, right? Uh some nerve irritation left side of his body, something like that. It, it didn't yeah, say his back though. It just said oh, somewhere in his, in his lower body. Yeah. It said left side of his body. That's what it said. But he might. Oh, he I might left be. side of his back. Like I thought it was the left side of his back, a nerve in the left side of the lower body of his back. That's what I thought. But it I, might be. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a pinched nerve or something. But he might be cooked. I'm oh, playing too much Miley. Oh, I, I see what that is. Those back be. injuries are nothing to play with, man. They're <laughs> not. No, they're not. No, they're not Your bro. back gets messed up. Now you might be done. I, I won't fight that. Mom. Sure. Alan R. Shout out Alan R. He be holding it down in the group chat. If you're not in the group chat. Get in the group chat. But Alan R said, AD got to be Triple J's boogeyman or something. Triple J is not that good offensively. He's getting exposed. Can we just accept that? Yeah, from, man, this, just, from this summer to now? That's why. That's what it is, man. It's just not that yeah. good offensively. Eight Gates Lee said, ticket. Did Halley jump off your screen last night? Past two games, 30 plus assists with this many turnovers. Damn. It's crazy, I'm, I'm, that's a crazy stat. I hated every second. Of it, was that many, it, it, <laughs> was, it was too many. It was too many games for the five oh, screens, you. man. Feel the same way about you, Thug Life. How about that? Feel mm. the same way about you, Thug Life. Can't stand mm. in the ring with me and talk basketball. All you in mm. here doing oh, that's is a new person being, you go beef with. Okay. All you doing is all you doing is in here talking about being tough. That's all you doing. Can't even stand in the ring and for, for more than a minute and talk basketball. You can't do it. All you do is call me soft. All you do is call me putting all of this stuff. Meanwhile, you won't step in the ring for an extended period of time and actually have a basketball conversation with me because I will destroy you. Mm, tell him. Mm. Don't talk, OG. Mm. Don't sound like Thug Life anymore. Mm. Anyway. TK said, I bet Larry Bird would have fought Dre. Yes, he would have. One I remember to quote him that M word, too. <laughs> it was a different time. No, he no, no, different no, time. It might be time to go ahead and wrap it up. That was. not doing that. Where do we be doing that? Words would be flying. Kevin McHale, like, words would be flying, man. Words would definitely be flying in those days. G King said Rudy had Clay in a chokehold first. No, he didn't. I couldn't even tell because Draymond was so. I was just to jump on him like he did, right? I couldn't tell what he did to Clay. I seen Draymond fly into the screen. For real. With that being said, we all do need friends like Draymond, too. <laughs> Boy. And it's not just Steph. Everybody wants to say, oh, he's a Steph merchant. He was wrong like that for Clay Thompson. He, hey, man, he loves his guys. That, it, he's respect. a loyal dude. Yeah, he made his career. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think he's one of those guys, you'll like him if he's on your team, and you'll hate him when he's not on your team. Right. Nah, I, I'm taking that. I, I don't like that saying because that's what they were saying about Pat Bev. I hated Pat Bev on my team, so nah. 
Yeah, those pe- those type of people on my team annoy me as well. Like, you just began to beef with everyone. I'm like, thank you. I'm just trying to play the game. Like, I don't care about your shenanigans. Mm. That's good. like those people. <laughs> I, no, I've Do you had care about the shenanigans, like, Lord? Do you care I about? Sure, the I just want to play. Like these people. No, I don't like you <laughs> on my team because the game just be getting delayed. Like, shut up. Let me get back to work. Work. I literally watched. I literally watched this man Pat Bev literally. Now, I'm not gonna say blow the game, but made the game way worse trying to give a camera to the goddamn ref to prove his point. I'm like, what is that's not necessary. We're already mad. What are we doing? What, what is the point of this? Yeah. Like, the antics are whack. It's only good with Lance Stevenson. King Cato says, showing love to the panel and thanks, Mars, for the good discussion yesterday, brother. Oh, no, yeah, no problem. BD Production said, Y'all remember Ron Artest's elbow, James Harden? And yeah, wasn't suspended for 30 games. That was Honor crazy. about that. Wait, was he? Honor was definitely about that. It was life. suspended. I don't know. I don't know how long he suspended, but it, was, it might have been a lengthy one, actually. Mm-hmm. Not five minutes. Greatest with the super chat and said, Chill Town, chill. He said, Chill sleeps with Kobe and Shaq booked by his bed. He never got over the breakup. It's okay, Chill. They were my two favorite players, too. I did not, to be honest with you, my man. I did have a hard time with them breaking up because I, I was disappointed, man. I, I, I saw, but I knew why. I, I did understand why, but I was disappointed watching them break up, though. though. I was. I did not like. It. And I know why you became a thug too, B. Just like, just like you said, you know why I became a cop. I became a cop the same reason why you became a thug because you probably got beat up. You probably got pushed around. Mm. That's probably what happened to you. You probably got roughed up a lot, and you probably hung around some thugs because you know you ain't want to get pushed around no more. I wanted to make a, I wanted to make a difference in my community. That's why. That's why I became. And on top of that, I also wanted to. I also wanted to. I wanted to work in the NBA in security. But that's a, that's another story for another day. But I understand why you. I understand why you became he just a dog. You a bitch. Dang, he just, he he just, just read you like that book by his desk right there, gang. That's crazy. Mm. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Before we do though, I got a super chat from I eat hot dogs in public. Oh my uh, God. This individual said, I will say, Ticket versus Chill Town debating is peak, pure basketball knowledge. 95% of the people in the comments couldn't hang. Respect. And I gotta, and not, just, did, not, just, and not just Ticket, like Maws and, and Damo. And, man, I got to come in with my boxing gloves every day. Don't think that. The problem with Jalen is Jalen ain't here every day, but Damo here every day, Ticket here every day, Maws here. I got to come in here with my boxing gloves every day. It's no days off. I got to come in here with my boxing gloves every day. So mm. I got to make sure that I'm on top of my game because I will get fried like an egg and I will get fried like bacon if I ain't on top of my shit. It's that simple. Jalen, me personally, I'd be here. Right? I mean, I wouldn't oh. take that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's not that you ain't that dude. It's not that you ain't that dude. It's that you ain't that dude. That's I get it, I get you it. every day. That's all. I get it. Too. I, I see these dudes every day. So I got to come in with my boxing gloves every day with these dudes. Every day, look, they, look, they, put, they put Lamont and mustard on the Black Friday card over you, gang. I yeah, want to take it. That's crazy. Hey, top of I don't mind, know if you remember yet. Like, I don't know if everyone wanted to smoke. I gotta start fighting with people. Jelena, Jelena is crazy. I, I really yeah, can't I believe they really did you like that. That's hey, man. It's, maybe no one wants to smoke. What I want different. You see me what I want. Hey. It could be a different breed. Hey. It could be a different hey. animal. Hey, hey, hey looking at the looking at the looking at the bracket. Who you think is easy work? Who's easy work for you? Oh, I mean, the, the bottom card's the easy work. Shout out Mustard. Shout out Young Africa. Shout out those guys. But y'all easy work. Um, dub included? Dub, dub, dub the homie. Dub the homie. So debating here, that that's the homie. You know, I got a lot of I won't whoop Dub because he's my friend. Is that what that is? That's, else, that's, like I said, that's my I'm boy, like, so I ain't going to whoop him. Everyone else. I've done this for Mars, um, um, Mars Low, Fluent, uh, Chill Town, Dom I mean, Ticket. I mean, these guys are all the best in the game. Oh, my God. Don't make me wait. Y'all can get this work, too. Anytime you let me know, well, we good. Anytime, but these are the best in the game. There's, there's no shame in losing to the best of the best. You said mustard, you know? y'all whack, man. <laughs> Damn. I got love for mustard, gifted all night. I got love for y'all, but one v one debate. Nah, you ain't, you ain't seeing me. This level. For sure. Mm. Hey, one, one, one day hey, we gonna get yeah, that. Hey, hey, I said LeBron, LeBron ain't worried about G leaguers. I got love for y'all, but LeBron ain't worried about it. Damn. LeBron ain't worried about hey, it. Hey, he is cutting the promo for next year. Friday, boy. Let me LeBron ain't worried. Mm. We can take a one after the other. Give me one after the other, back to back to hey, back. Not a going. <laughs> I'm telling you, it'll be different. I'm telling you, one v one. You know, we out here having a good time just now. But I'm telling you, one v one. When I come prepared, just like I do in like my job, it, it's different. I'm telling you right now, it'll be different. Prepared is different. 
He said, I work too hard to even be associated with you clowns. Crazy. Mm. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Uh, we will see Jalen in the gauntlet versus those guys soon. And we will see this Jalen versus ticket boxing match as well. I ain't forgot about that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Same time tomorrow. Y'all know where to find us. Take it light, but take it. I'll take see y'all tomorrow.